It was I was twenty six. Hmm, let me see. <laughs> so I get to add six. Right? Ooh. Season two of the Gay Pirate Show. I can't wait. Season two of the Gay Pirate Show. I can't wait. Fantastic. Okay, sounds like we're in. All right, we got the Gay Pirate Loop. Fantastic. I heard that. All right, howdy, folks. We are live. Ooh. Welcome, party people. Welcome, Gay Pirates. I broke Harvey. Harvey broke before the game, which is kind of disappointing because I tonight's the special night where I get to break Harvey because he broke my carnival. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> you can break Harvey with party. All right. Um, 
let's see. Last week, uh, you tried to tear down the carnival. I had good reason. I instead, was mad. Yeah. <laughs> instead, yeah. Totally valid reason. Uh, Unregulated movement, the valid reason. <laughs> it was fine. It was fine. If, the, fine. if there's one thing cishet males learn from a very young age is that you're allowed one emotion to have, and it's rage. What about sad? No. 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 Only rage. Only what rage. What about beer? Is that an emotion? Is beer an emotion? Beer falls under rage. Beer fuels the rage. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. What, beer what is an emotion that? suppressant. I it's tell you what. It's part of the process. Okay. Don't don't blame it on the beer, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You gotta yeah. say it more menacing. Don't blame it on the beer, Bill. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> but uh, instead, you crushed a uh, an an evil enchantment that was following you around. Mm-hmm. You went Did to go check out it? the teeth. Yeah, you, you, it got crushed by a by a pillar on the big top. Turned into frogs. Oh, okay. I, 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 I've, I, I've had a week, sorry. Yeah, you're good. Uh, you went to the teapots, in which you got separated. Uh, Elise killed a hamster. Kenneth oh, killed yeah. a hamster. He <laughs> monster. You know he had it coming. Oof. Uh, I rolled, uh, I got, on the level up, I rolled uh, extra HP, and I got less than half. Whoa. Uh, yeah, then I, go, go the half if you want. Sure. Yeah, I, I try to I try to give people the option of one d ten or the half, or one d ten plus your con or half, whichever's better. That way, a spellcaster doesn't get stuck with four HP their entire fucking life. <laughs> uh, let's see, you did that. You got you caught a player two Hurley who is actually a Kenku who stole the voice from a small boy mime. And for doing that, uh, Mr. Witch and Mr. Light took you to the uh, Funhouse Mirrors, the Hall of Illusions, yeah. and let you in. And since they then... They the Kenku crime. Yeah, they, they did the Kenku crime. And after that, uh, you were thrown into a portal in which you had ominous whooshing for the last two weeks. Just like my favorite anime, Twin Peaks. Yeah. <laughs> Documents. It's time for the ominous washing. It, it's time to do 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 duel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put this duel in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> if I if I put Dale Cooper in defense position, that means you can't summon Dougie Love for two turns. Oh God. <laughs> I think that's the other way around. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, so upon landing, even though it feels like it's been ages you were falling, it just feels like you've stepped off. You missed a step on the final step down a staircase. Ugh. Upon opening your happens. eyes, the world seems oversaturated. Everything's a little too vivid, a little too bright. As you sit there, as you stand there, you feel the wind touch every single pore of your skin. Ugh. The, I don't like a personal touch. The, the stone cobble of the bridge beneath you, you can feel its slight rumble and shake as it adjusts to your weight. The place looks sort of like a fresh marsh from as far as you can see to the edge of cloud lines, but it smells sweet, almost like a candied apple or a fresh pie. You, as you hear the sounds of crickets and frogs and other little swamp crit critters, it sounds almost as if it's a melody, a very familiar song, something that got stuck in your head not too long ago. For the... F no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For the first time in a long time, you really feel like you're living in the now. And you have entered hither. You stand at the edge of a raised and broken causeway under a hazy twilight sky. I, I'm not. I'm going to change that. Excuse me. Sorry. I read ahead before I change that. <clears throat> a broken causeway under a bright sunny day with the sun oh. stuck at high noon. The oh. causeway, which is built from pale stones that glow faintly from within 
towers over the surrounding la landscape, but large sections of it have been crumbled away. The parts that remain in place are separated by large gaps, which portions have collapsed. A fog-shrouded swamp spreads out below you in all directions, and from its murk wafts the smell of rotting plants and rises from the swamp to the music of nature, a discordant symphony of croaking frogs and singing birds. And in the distant sky, you spot a great balloon made of patchwork material. It spins out of control as though punctured, causing the wicker basket that hangs from it to swing wildly. The balloon plunges out of sight, disappearing into the fog approximately a mile away. Uh, uh, how far away, how far above us is the balloon? It was, it's farther than your jump distance. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I, can, I can just stop this adventure right fucking now, but all right. <laughs> and it's not so much above you as it is, like, a gap and a half away. No, like, you can... It's like a just mile like away. A lion, just like a lion, you can leap 35 feet in the air. I mean, I literally can. <laughs> Uh, behind you on the rock walkway is a cloudy mist that seems to surround all that you can see of the swampy area. And uh, the only other route it kind of is to climb down or to figure out another way to get down. Hmm. Well, this is a fine how do you do. Bird just kind of starts walking down with his slippers. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know. Turned on the you boots, You don't think Nordy. we can all do that. <laughs> I point in the to the horizon where the, we saw the balloon go. What do you suppose that was all about? Do you think? Do you think it could have uh, could have come from from the the carnival, like us? Uh, I mean, I like the president. Actually, that's a that's an interesting idea. Uh, uh, I'm going to consult with my uh, brain pan, and uh, I'm going to say, hey, uh, I want to kind of roll for insight to see, because, like, from your description, it sounds like that patchwork balloon fits in more with the aesthetic of a car carnival than it does with the current landscape you're describing to us. Okay. So I want, I want to roll some sort of insight to see if my hunch is correct. I mean, that's what I was thinking. And I say my hunch. It was Den's hunch. Ha ha ha. Stole the hunch. I stole it. I'll take credit for it. And he if has I a name. I get something out of it. It was do. my hunch all along. Uh, let's see. My inside is zero, so it's just going to be a flat D20. <laughs> well, that is a three, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Amazing. Oh, Lord. It remains my hunch. <laughs> 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 Yeah. This is my favorite fantasy childhood game, Pass the Hunch. <laughs> I, I got nothing. Y'all figure it out. I'm just going to stand over here and practice my crunches. <laughs> I, I, feel as if, I feel as though our, our immediate concern is uh, getting down from here. Um, Bird is continuing walking without them. Yeah, I, I figured. You're, you're, you're probably about a quarter to halfway. Let's and see. every once in a while, if there's, like, a bush or something on the cliffside, like, he'll kind of get it in it and wait a minute and look around. Like, he's not going straight down. Like, he's kind of, like, walking down it all spy stealthily. Yeah, yeah. No. He's having a leisurely uh, downward walk. <laughs> well, let's see. Yep. What's, in, what's in my explorer's pack? What is in an explorer's pack? Do I have a rope? That's what I call my balls. <laughs> that's, like, yeah, okay. you, that's where you my keep God. your little explorer. <laughs> no, no, so little if you know what I mean. Uh, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Imagine I'm nudging all of you as I say that. <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah, I gotta set my. While everyone else figures out what they're wanting to do, I have a question for the DM. Yeah. Uh, so you kind of said the the ground sinks under our feet so i think it's a safe bet i just i can't just jump down willy-nilly i feel like i'm probably gonna if i impact the ground too hard i'm gonna sink through it uh, it definitely looks like a swampy ground that is has a nice squelch and squash to it uh if you've ever done farm work it would be like walking through a poorly shoveled uh cow pen okay. sort of thing 
in that case, I will take advantage of my of my large snowshoe esque feet, rabbit feet, and just walk down uh, and try my best not to sink into it. Oh well, th- uh, this is sort of a vertical climb down. There's not a walkway. The, I see. Yeah, the, the, it was just you landing on the stones. Is that was the, it settling beneath your feet of this cobblestone? Mm. I, I'm having yeah, a bad bro- start. Bird's only able to walk down because he's literally walking down it like he's walking up a wall because he's got those slippers. Yeah, he's got them spider feet. Okay. You know, I have a magic auto pen flute and it plays itself, but that implies it also floats. Maybe I can float down using it. You can attempt. What if I did a cartwheel? You, you can't attempt a strength athletics check unless you have a better argument. And you can try to jump off with your auto pan flute, and I'll I will do, do that. I will do math for terminal velocity <laughs> of centaurs. Um, how how cartwheelable does it look? Uh, there are some shrubs, some mushrooms, okay. some things uh-huh. on the side. So um, you could either use those to try to break your fall, or uh-huh. you can try to avoid them to just kind of keep your momentum going. Did you say strength or dexterity? Uh, it would be a strength of 13. Athletic specifically, so if you're proficient in that, you can have that plus two proficiency bonus. Am I? Let me see. What do those mushrooms look like? Uh, green, swampy. Everything's going to look like uh, Act 1 of Shrek. Oh, okay. Mm, nah, he's not... He's not interested in those. Sounds really gross. Sounds <laughs> really gross. Um, is there anything that doesn't look super squishy and gross around us? Uh, the, the cobblestone beneath you kind of thing? Uh-huh. And Where do you I can, find you, my proficiency? You can occasionally make out a uh, stone well in the landscape below. Uh, your proficiencies, it should be anything with like a little check mark on your character sheet or if you're using that notepad still using the notepad (laughs) all right if you're still using the notepad and i can oh look at that it's open up over here uh favorite enemy ranger you're proficient in survival and insight and perception oh there it is Yeah, I'm going to roll acrobatics so Kenneth can kind of... Like, he's going to try his best to keep on the cobblestone Uh. as best as he can. So if that involves cartwheeling and jumping and dashing and stuff, that's a 19. All right, yeah. Uh. Looks like my pan flute has panned out. Uh. (laughs) (laughs) You hold your pan flute as you climb down mountain goat style. The pan flute it, it, does nothing, but it gives you enough emotional support. You're, you're pulling it off. It toots out <laughs> ebb and flow. The ebb emotional flow. support. Yeah. Flute. Do, 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 do. Do, do, Are you sure it's oh, not no. a beautiful morning song? <laughs> yes. I love how you had to basically scat the song because no one knows the lyrics to Pearl Jam. Uh, it goes... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my mistake. You clearly know the lyrics. Yeah. See? Yeah. Come on. Get with the times, Matt. Yeah. Everybody knows the lyrics. Everybody knows the lyrics. Come on, everybody, all together. Yeah. Yeah, it's just even flow. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> All right, so we got uh, one of you cartwheeling down, one of you's walking down, another one of you's mounting, goading down with a pan flute. <laughs> Harvey, are you gonna jump or w- you gonna try to climb or what you gonna do? Yeah, I'm. Um, yeah, Harvey. Uh, jumping is great for going up, not so much for going down. So <laughs> I'm going to uh, I'm gonna bust out my explorer's pack. I'm gonna get a rope, and I'm gonna notice there's no pythons in it, just a rope. So. Uh, <laughs> just go like, well, fucking hell. All right, I guess I'm just going to make the best of it, and uh, I'm going to just try to make a straight climb down with an athletics check. All right. With a rope, it'll be a little bit easier. Okay. Uh, 
so uh, what, did, by easier, do you mean I get a flat bonus or that I get advantage or what? Uh, instead of 13, you just have to aim for a 10. Okay, aim for a 10, okay. Ooh. I think I passed with a 17. <laughs> Plus six and you were doing all this work. <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> oh my god. Well, you, you really underestimate how badly I roll. <laughs> yeah, it is true. <clears throat> As you make your way down, and you hit the bottom, first bird, and then you see the uh, the large gons, the, lar the big folk, follow you down, bird. The big folk. Uh, sticky mud squelches beneath your feet. Tangled mangroves grow out of the pools of rippling water, half hidden by the thick fog. And purple mushrooms cling to rotten logs and stumps scattered throughout the marsh. Crickets that glow like fireflies chirp serenely before they are snatched out of the air by the tongue of hungry frogs. Coming fr uh, 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 wait, 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 the frogs. The frogs? Uh, there's three of them there. Yeah. And they're, they're all really enjoying uh, a particular brand of beer. Give me oh, a second. Names? I'm pulling up my character list. Because <laughs> I do have a list. And you... Give me a second. The names of the frogs are, and I quote... I have to get to the bottom of my list because I'm starting at the bottom. And I'm gonna work Bud. I know one of them's name is Bud. No, I'm is... not doing Bud, Wise, or Sir. No. <laughs> Their names Boo. are Kite, Hollander, Hollandaise, and Yellow Shirt. <laughs> okay. No, I'm writing that down. Both? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Run, run that by me again. Their names are okay. Kite, Hollander Hollandaise, and Yellow Shirt. But as player characters, you would not know this because you have not conversed with these frogs. They're not wearing name yeah. tags. Oh, don't worry. I'm going to get to know their life story. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, they don't have blue other... Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah, no, I want to know their deepest fears. JD... Tell me everything about these fucking frogs. A large talk to them. A large heron. Animals. God damn it. You fuckers. Hello, frog. Tell me about your deepest fears. Bird is definitely paying more attention to the fireflies that they're eating. <laughs> well, yes. As, hey, as... frogs, do you want to sing Even Flow with us? Oh yeah. Ye yellow shirt looks oh, at yeah. his. Yeah. <laughs> and he all sick of this ancient song. He's like, is that a, is that a Moby song? What is that? Moby. Moby. I don't know what Moby is, but I feel offended. <laughs> you know, you know, even flow is a, it's it's an ancient song of my people. You may not have heard of it. It's, You're a, a fan it's, of it's, it's an old timey chant. I guess that's a no. Uh, Kite looks at you and goes, What's, what's you people? What does that mean? You oh, I apologize for my friend here. What she means is she's generalizing frogs as an entire race of people <laughs> and narrowing oh down all of, all of your traits onto the traits of your overall race. You understand? Well, that, that is true. We are single-minded. Oh my. <laughs> and what is on your, your singular mind, friends? Hollander Holidays looks at you and goes, Well, you, you got some good bugs here. Oh. And he misses one. He's like, ah. That's not a good bug, though. Try, try again. Uh, as, as you're having this... Get some at some point, like catch him in his meat. <laughs> As you're having this conversation, a large heron rises up from over the horizon, from the east, lets out a horrific, uh, just deep guttural kaiju-sized honk, and flies westward. What was that all about? After that happens, coming from a direction, are several voices joined in a marching song. What upon are they singing? upon hearing this, they're singing even flow. The frogs <laughs> hop and run away, j Wait, jump, jumping in a nearby creek. I didn't know your creeks. life story yet. Aww. <clears throat> the singing grows louder as six bipedal rabbits wearing clothing emerge from the fog. 
Two of them tug at the reins of a giant snail, and the others carry clubs and sing, and slings. As you get near them, as they get closer to you, you can start to hear their song. I can't do this to even flow. It does not work. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Nope, I believe it. Come you. on. With sticks and stones will break your nose. We'll beat you blind, steal your clothes. Look nice. down among us. Can't compare to the widely sniffed up stand up hair. Scarfs that glorious. Thief notorious. Well, His deeds yeah. are truly notorious. With a wink and a grin, he'll show you his cutting. <laughs> it's turning into hair metal. <laughs> Flash of oh, a scarf, he'll yeah, take yeah. off a running. Knighthoof no, turns to the group and says, they're good. They're really I'm good. actually quite impressed. So, so yeah, out of character, just like with the real Pearl Jam, I'm impressed, but I don't know what they're saying. <laughs> I mean, yeah. yeah. So could Correct. we get like could we get like a, a genius.com lyric sheet? Yeah, for, give me a uh, second. Give me a second. I'll drop it in the roll twenty. <laughs> we had to Google it. We had to D and D Google it. Yeah. There Bird is go. definitely repeating. Oh, so it that's back. what Pearl Jam was saying. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you, you used a uh, Birdopedia who can repeat everything. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Very good. Bird. Birdopedia repeated it nice and slow. We understand now. Oh my god. Enunciated even. Uh huh. <laughs> and he doesn't process what he's saying. He's just saying it. <laughs> yeah, just amazing. Just like, like me when singing. I read out loud. <laughs> Man, it's, it's you know, to process what's actually happening here. Bless his little heart. Re reading the uh, the lyric sheets here, I'm just like, man, the dick riding is crazy around here, for real, for real. Oh, 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 oh my. As, as they uh, get closer to you, from <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of the hares notices you all. They they point with their clubs and they head your way. Uh, a larger lady hare walks up, bows slightly, holding a large jug under her arm, and she goes, Oh, pl pleased to meet you. I'm Jebek. Uh, this is a robbery, so if you resist, we're going to have to beat you black and blue. All we need is, uh, we need some of your cherished memories. So, you, are you willing to give it to us, or are you going to have to be knocked senseless? Oh, Jebek, no, thank you, but you are amazing singers. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just blank. <laughs> like you want what? Uh, what are those? Katie, with my passive, with my passive intuition, I want you to tell me which one of these guys looks like the leader. Uh, it's Jevik, the one talking to you with the jar under her arm. Okay, is like, is she in the middle of a group? What's the positioning here? Oh, she's in front of her group, uh, positioning the jar in front of her as, as she's demanding you all to give her a memory. Okay, and that's the jar in front of her, you say? Yes. Okay. So what I'm going to do is immediately, uh, if I'm not in range, close the distance. If I am, uh, you know, um, bonus action, rage, uh, standard action. Let's see, which is the one that gives me the most damage here? I'm just going to do a downward strike, hitting her and the jar at the same time, uh, ideally. Happy, happy birthday to the ground. Definitely not <laughs> to point at the jar, too, now that I see what Harvey's doing. You're doing what with the jar? I'm knocking an arrow at it. Harvey's trying to hit it. Oh, right. Oh, no. Uh, give me a second. I, I'm trying to hit Debic and the jar at the same time, but I have, like, a weapon bigger than everyone in the party except for the centaur, so I think I could probably do both. I well, that's why I was just saying. <laughs> Okay. It was a pick one fifty fifty, you know. Where is... I feel like I could hit the jar better than I could hit her. Okay, that's weird. Hmm. Right. Uh, just the, the character sheet is not a not the I grabbed the wrong character sheet apparently. Whenever I was grabbing the Harrigan stuff. Uh, all right. So I guess let's roll some initiative. Oh no. Ah, jeez. 
Oh, you I want mean, to please them? Since I moved before them, do I get a surprise round? Yeah, you you are you you and uh, Bird are getting a surprise round. Yes. Nice. Okay. Because right. mm. Bird's gonna fire a shot, and you're gonna take a dot. Eleven. I just couldn't act without somebody else acting because I couldn't come up with the idea. <laughs> oh, <nice. laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Incredible. So, I'm. I'm rolling at r reckless attack, which, so I'm going to roll at advantage, and then I'm going to manually add a six to the highest roll of the two. Okay. Uh, so that's going to be a 23. I did it wrong. Give me a second. On your initiative? No, no, no. I'm on my surprise round. Oh, okay. My surprise round attack. A 23 to hit? Uh, yes, both her and the jar. Uh, da, 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 da. Proficiency bonus. You oh, know, okay. I wasn't expecting combat this quickly. Yeah, me the neither. The four classes before the roll. You the robbed me, JD. You robbed the most violent character I've ever created. What? How did you not expect combat? She did not rob you. She walked up and demanded you to give her things to, or else. You did not get robbed yet. Yeah. You. Okay. Yeah, you basically. <laughs> You, you basically walked up to a red state dad and said, hey, I'm going to need you to stand your ground real quick. No. All right. Yeah, you did hit with a uh, 16. Oh, my God. And, Bird, was that your initiative or is that your role with your arrow bolt? Um, That's my initiative. Okay. But I need to add six to that because I forgot to do that. Okay, so you got a so, nine. So it's a I nine. I did nine damage to her and the jar. Wait, was I supposed to add something? Uh, your dex. Fuck. Uh, my okay. dex is 16 plus 2. Alright, so you your initiative is 4 then. Boy, I'm, I'm glad I'm fast and I took the alert feat because I roll shit. <laughs> yeah, and Harvey's got a 16 for initiative, yeah. Alright. And... I rolled a 16 on that hit when we get there. And Harvey, are you within five feet of her now? Oh, yeah, he is. Uh, I no, think. no, because I have reach with my weapon. Oh. Ten feet? Yeah, I'd say that's probably it. Did you, uh... All right, you hit then successfully with your arrow. That's impressive. That's more impressive than my four hooves. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Elise. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Give me a second. I'm double checking what I get for my sneak attack because I know I get something special with what I took. Now, keep in mind, even though I'm not in melee distance of the enemy, I am threatening the enemy. So I don't know if that makes a difference for your stuff that you're doing. Well, she came up and demanded it, right? Yeah, she demanded mm. one cherished memory. Yeah. Each, I'm assuming. I'm making yes. a cherished memory right now. <laughs> so that, when I'm done kicking her ass, then maybe she can have some of it. What somehow. Snail, uh, yeah, somehow. Snail also? Yeah, the, writing, the giant snail is also in it and <laughs> is actually ruled best out of, <laughs> out of every, all of them between her and oh, the rabbits. Jesus Christ. I'm wishing I took the dagger to it because looking at it now, it's either I have to have an ally within five feet of it, or I get if I'm within five feet of it and nobody else is there, as long as I don't have disadvantage. Yeah, sorry, my character sort of built around like keeping a distance from the people I'm beating up. Man, I need you right there so I can get the sneak attack. Oh I'm sure God. someone will. I'm sure there are other ways you can get sneak attack. Oh, uh, right. basic, like you should have gotten sneak attack from the fact that uh, you had Little advantage surprise. from them not from basically you getting a surprise round on them. Yeah. Would you allow that? Yeah, I'd allow it. You got a. You both did a surprise hit. Your your immediate okay. response to these people were to draw, <laughs> to draw and fire. I'm I'm an ex-pirate, of course. Yeah. 
Yes, that makes but sense. I'm a gambling addict with rage issues. So, sorry. You are still a gambler with rage. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> My bad. We, we don't mention Three. that motherfucker here. Sorry. Six. I'm doing my equation right now, sorry. You're good. Plus four, because I get a two additional d6. All right, so uh, <laughs> your bolt uh, hits Jebik's ha uh, hand. Make here drop the jar as, it's, as it makes a horrible clunk into the mud. As she's, as she's wincing at pain at that, a, uh, lar a much larger rabbit just plunges down and splits her in half with yeah, a uh, nice. mop hop with a mop bird a howl a howl mop. <laughs> it's ba a, yeah, this fantasy world is essentially the 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 dragon slayer from Berserk, but sillier looking. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> It's the, dr <laughs> the I'm not gonna say that joke <laughs> on no. Twitch. I'm trying to monetize. Trying to be someone trying to hustle him. <laughs> That's say is the Dragon Slayer what a uh, hawk calls his uh, mo molest his molesting technique <laughs> says mo molestation in the end. Yeesh. I'm not even. I'm not sure I get the joke. It was, I don't was, either. Wasn't that the whole plot of why Guts is such a grumpy fellow? He got molested. No. Yes. No, it's so much deeper than that. Uh, it's also yeah, that. Matt, explain us, explain us the whole thing of position. I don't have an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I want to beat up some bunnies. All right, so you better get to them before I kill them all. <laughs> what? What? One rabbit is dead. Oh damn. Uh, the jar is in the ground. R.I.P. And uh, it is now Harvey's turn. So tell me about these other guys. Uh, the other three, <laughs> who are holding, who are now released the uh, snail. Oh, they're the, only. There, yeah. There's four of them and a snail left. There's four total and a snail, but now there's three and a snail. Oh. Well then. Uh, the two no. holding the snail reins let go and draw their clubs alongside the other one holding the club. Uh, and the snail is letting out a horrendous, <laughs> whatever sound a snail makes. It probably squeals. Yeah, a, a loud. <laughs> How big are these other rabbits? Uh, medium humanoid. So they're like yeah. five, six feet. I'm going to grab one of the nearest rabbits and chuck him at another one of the nearest rabbits. Hell yeah. God, fucking Baldur's Gate 3 ruins D&D &D once again. Hey, <laughs> I <w> <laughs> I had Harvey. I was building Harvey before I started playing Baldur's Gate, and chucking dudes was always on my mind. <laughs> As a barbarian, I've been chucking people for like six months to a year now. So. Hell yeah! Yeah. <laughs> I'm All gonna right. throw this bitch like a javelin. Do it. Roll your uh, strength or grapple. I don't remember how much it takes to throw a motherfucker at another motherfucker. So, uh, reckless attack does not work on this. However, because I am in a rage, I get advantage on strength checks. So I'm rolling 2d20 again. <laughs> and again, and once again, I am adding six to the highest roll. And the highest roll this is, is 25. <laughs> oh my god. All right, so you got 25. You have successfully picked up a 5-5 five, five rabbit. As you uh, grab him, he goes, Oh no, my name is Gallagher, stop! <laughs> <laughs> oh, now we get details. I'd like to use a free action to whoop whoop. Whoop <laughs> 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 whoop! Okay, and then do a improvised, I guess, ranged attack? Is that is that what it, you do when you, after you've successfully picked up a motherfucker? Well, actually, because I am giant subclass, I actually get uh, some bonus damage to ranged throne attacks that use strength. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, bonus damage, but it's not telling me what the bonus damage is. Uh, hold on. 
Sorry, gotta do. I've never actually thrown a bitch with this character before. No, so no, you're, I, you know. you're you're fine. He has this to do some math. Really got in combat with these guys. Yeah, I didn't study combat because I was like, oh, surely there won't be combat until like the until the yawn. You threatened us with robbery. Why would I not fight? This is all yeah, been ready to fight. He's a cishet male. Yeah, I, surely we could have just entered and a rap I I assumed Kenneth or Nighthoof was going to, you know, talk before you got there. Yeah, like, if, if this was Kill Bay, yeah, no, I if the rest of my party weren't interested in fighting and they didn't seem like a big threat to us, I would have been like, yeah, we could talk to that, we could make up a contract. <laughs> but this is Harvey fucking Finnegan, yo. <laughs> Fair. All right. Are you All used right. to following an alpha male F leader? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> he has done nothing to earn leadership, but he is leader. Yeah. Uh, he acts like leader, he is leader. <laughs> D&D. Kenneth is the handsomest, so he might be the leader, but also Nighthoof is the tallest, so maybe he's the leader. Who knows? So, uh... <laughs> from just, yeah. from Bullshitting up. Bullshittery, yeah. I'm shitting a formula here. I am doing 1d4 for the improvised aspect of the damage, and then my bonus damage, I'm assuming, is proficiency, which I believe is 2. That would make so, sense. Yeah, you should. it should be 2 at level 4. So, yeah, I'm... Let's say I do 3 damage. Oh, not right. counting the psychological damage I'm doing to both. <laughs> yeah, so you do 3 damage to 2 of them. And as you throw Gallagher... He uh, hits Rub Rub Tuggington, and he goes, oh, I can't believe oh, no. you hit me! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm having so much fun, you guys. Oh, God. All right. It is now the snail's turn. Oh. Because the snail, with a minus four dex, rolled a 16 on his on initiative. Oh. <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tell us about this fucking snail. All right, he it, it lets out another squeal. Gross. And it charges at ba, ba, ba. Huh, huh. night hoof. No. <laughs> One d twenty. <laughs> and he puts up and he slams into you. Does no. a twelve break your? It does a twelve get past your armor class? Um. What's my armor class? Let's see. What is what 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 is? I'm checking that on your thing. Uh, you're wearing leather armor. Yes. And your con is plus one. Yes. Maybe I need a proper sheet. <laughs> <laughs> leather armor. Okay, so leather armor, not of the golem variety, just the regular leather armor. Come on now. Uh, AC plus eleven plus dex, and what's so it's not your con, it's your dex score. So it's eleven plus uh, six. Uh, dex is sixteen plus two. Yeah, con goes into your hit point. Uh, it should be plus three now that your con is six, now that your dex is sixteen. Okay, plus three. Yeah, so well, my hit my hit points are thirty three. So it should be at fourteen. Your AC is fourteen then. Twelve does not beat that. Yay! So the snail barely misses you with a mighty slam of its snailness. Ooh. Kenneth, oh, you're my. up. How rude. <sighs> okay. What are you gonna do, Kenneth? That's the question, isn't it? Because Kenneth's more of a lover, not a fighter. Love the rabbits. Start a rap battle. Mm. Love them so hard, you hurt them. Okay. So, I, I have the same number of limbs as a rabbit. <laughs> Where is this going? Where is this going? <laughs> Which <Not> means <laughs> that I can shape change into a rabbit. That's where I'm going with this. Oh, you right. have to have the same rabbit. number of limbs to shape change into something. Like, I can't shape change into a spider because I ain't got eight limbs. I got four. Then how did you turn right? into a knife? Knives don't have no limbs. That's true. You did turn into a knife. No, no. Remember, we turned into a knife that had limbs. Yeah. Okay. My face was the knife. 
Okay. Uh, I'll take your word for it. Yeah, so, sure. I, uh, what Kenneth is going to do, because this is really kind Kill of another like... soft and fluffy individual, yes. No, 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 no. He is yes. going to... Murder. Um, <laughs> furry murder. He's going to wave his hands in front of his face. Like, that's distracting people from what he's doing. I and he there's is plenty going... of distraction on the battlefield right now. You're, you're just doing <laughs> Bond Clay from One Piece now, where you just wave your face to turn into... <laughs> See, Kenneth assumes that people are looking at him at all times, <laughs> so that's why he's going to wave his hands in front of his face like everyone is looking at him actively right now, like, haha, I'm changing and you can't tell. And he shapeshifts into uh, a rabbit. All and right. he hops over to the little rabbit and goes, Hello, little rabbits! It is I, another rabbit. You, you don't have a rabbit, actually. You're not a real rabbit. I'm from the city. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that book, City Rabbit, Country Rabbit. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh no. Uh, roll, I guess, persuasion. <laughs> or what? Can, I'm gonna roll performance. Okay. Huh. To convince them that you're a rabbit. <laughs> oh yes, the prince and the hopper. <laughs> uh. Oh, oh! You oh! have convinced them they're a rabbit, oh! so they go. Whoa. The stupidest fucking roll, and I got a net 20. You convinced Harvey that you're a rabbit. He's like, oh, there's another one of these guys I gotta kill. Okay. (laughs) Harvey watches him transform and is like, oh shit, where did this rabbit come from? (laughs) Um, Yeah? With my passive now, would I have been able to catch that? Uh, I 19 is less than 25. (laughs) Yeah, I'd, I'd say. No, 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 no. I was talking about him changing. I'm gonna say you still. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, you'd still. You'd see him change. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Not the being smart enough. To okay. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't think anybody's smart enough to to uh, beat that. Do Do any of us canonically know that Kenneth is a shape changer? No, you don't. <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay. This is news to you. Yeah. So we'll just know that he's always the handsomest. Kenneth turns to the other rabbits and goes, You know, my fellow rabbits, what we should really be doing here is not fighting. No, Have I... we considered not fighting? It's something I learned in the city, where I'm from. So you're one of those blue state liberal rabbits. <laughs> oh my fucking... <laughs> I rolled a 25. I agree, we, should, we shouldn't be fighting, but Agnes gonna gonna kill us if we don't get that jar. That's where we're, that's where we keep it all his uh, memory loot. I point to the bisected rabbit. Have we considered living? I think that's better than getting a jar. You know, because that crazy asshole over friends. there is going to kill us. Yeah, and the crazy asshole that hires us is going to kill us if we don't bring that jar back. Here's the thing. We're tiny rabbits. We can hide under the ground. Can they find us there? I'm not a tiny rabbit. I'm I'm, I'm big. I'm, I'm a big rabbit. I'm a You're big pretty one. fucking tiny. <laughs> <laughs> Heard it's your turn. That was six seconds of conversation. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> you gotta embrace the JoJo rules, JD. <laughs> I do, but I also realize... You have a full ass monologue. Yeah, if I if I let you all get away with that, <laughs> I can't do my time shit that I'm doing. That's fair. I'll never stop talking if you let me do that. That's why. Oh, that's yeah. why I did the thing where like Hurley got to converse with you until you deranged. <laughs> I just killed a man. I don't think I'm derezzing yet. No, not yet. <laughs> all right. So, bird. There are now four rabbits and a angry snail. We gained um... a rabbit. Wait, Derez, did we get into the grid? <laughs> is anyone else within... Is anyone else... <laughs> what? It's bird turn. Is anyone else within five foot of anyone except Kenneth and the other bunny? Uh, Nighthoof is close to the snail, since the snail tried to slam it. Slam him. Where's yeah. that jar? The jar is on the ground right in front of uh, 
I'd say it's between Kenneth and, or not between Kenneth, between Harvey and the, uh, the, the, the two rabbit pieces. How big is the jar? It's like a, I'm, I'm going to, I'm, I say, I'm going to use an American measurement on here. It's about the size of like two one gallon jugs of milk. So it's about the size of me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's a two-hander for a normal person. You know, Bird is the shortest. Maybe maybe he's the leader. He should be in front so we can see him. <laughs> what about the handsomest? Comes from one of the rabbits. You can't tell which one. I'm gonna go ahead and... Um... No one's currently attacking each other right now except the bunny bard. Yeah. That's all that's happening. I am going to uh, knock an arrow but not let it go and hold action for somebody um, aggressing against the party or, like, actively attacking us. All right. Sounds good to me. Good idea. Because I don't want to do anything because no one's else directly doing anything right now. The two rabbits that were thrown into each other. Um, Rub Rub Tunkington and uh, Gallagher. Gallagher. They, they both get up. And they... they uh, Gallagher points at newly added rabbit and goes... Now you get that jar, or we're going to tell Agnes it's your fault that we don't have Jabuka no more. <laughs> and uh, Rub Rub Tunkington is going to take a swing at the very angry large rabbit. Okay, as he does that, my held action goes off. Yep. Hell yeah. Shoot. Uh, shoot. Nice. Um, does he Two move minutes. within five feet of Harvey? Yeah, he's within five feet. He's just using a bitty uh, club. He hopped Perfect. up with his little bitty rabbit legs. So I was just double checking so I can get that sneak attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Oh no, he was Hell gonna yeah. block little Harvey Fusu <laughs> on the head. <laughs> <laughs> That's an 18 to hit. Yep, that hits. Ooh. So. Nice. Way to go. Roll for damage. Amazing. I'm rolling. I just gotta type it in. Because I've got the D20 already saved. Hmm. This is smart. Gosh, I wish we had tokens on the board. You guys can see a board? Mine's just a blurry mess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, try zooming in or out. Okay, I'll do that in a second. I think it's a four with my arrow. Because mine started out yeah. as a blurry mess, too. Thirteen. <laughs> All right. Nice. Hell yeah. So upon uh, uh upon uh, Tuggington raising his club up to, well, I guess it would be uh, like Harvey's waist because the size difference at this point. You just hear an arrow. You hear an arrow go off, and he goes oh, and he lands face down in the mud. With a comedy style arrow sticking out of his back. Hell yeah! Upon seeing this, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Gallagher whistles at the snail and looks to Kenneth Rabbit and goes, Ah, f fuck the jar! We gotta get the fuck out of here! Oh, oh, I'm sorry, fuck the jar! We gotta get the fuck out of here! There, there we go. <laughs> He's going to try to dex out. That's all he gave us an order. And with a six, uh, he, he barely gets out of there. In fact, the snail is caught up with him. Nighthoof, it is your turn. Uh, Nighthoof turns to Bird and goes, Oh, a fellow shooter, eh? <laughs> is there um, anybody else attacking us? No, oh, yeah, is there anybody snail. else? Yeah, there's like a snail. Uh, let's say the snail and the one... And, uh, the one remaining rabbit was trying to flee. In response, though, real quick, we'll, we'll go, More than meets the eye! <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> alright, alright. 
I guess I will attempt to uh, hit hit the retreating what rub rub Tuggington. Yes. All right, I take out my uh, my longbow. And I know you get a plus two on it because your that's your weapon expertise. Yeah. All right. Okay. And then, nope. Uh, wait. Don't you should get something else with it too. Yeah, I should. And it is going to be Dex plus your proficiency. Oh, yep. So you should get another five added to that, which is nine. Plus whatever base the actual weapon has. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. Uh, has a range shown in the parentheses in the ammo? No, that's. I don't care about the range. Shit. It'd be one. Say that's. It'd be one d twenty plus nine plus something. Uh, what dex? No, the nine would be your dex plus your proficiency plus your uh, weapon expertise. Fuck. I'm trying to find. I'm looking. I was about at... to say that seems pretty low. Yeah, no, it should be... To, to hit, it should be 1d20 plus 2, two which is your proficiency. Uh, plus, yeah. plus another 2, because your weapon expertise, bow. And then plus 3. So it'd be plus 7. So 2 plus 7 is 9. Yeah. You still don't hit, barely. Dang. Well, she awesome. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Missed him by that much. Harvey, you're up. So, this fella that's running away, how far away is he? Uh, he is about nine feet away. No, not nine. He was the one that was farther away from you, so he's about 15, 16 feet at this point. Con uh, the, and the snail is side by side with him. Okay. Uh... What's the what's the uh, positioning like for, with, regarding me? Is like are they next to each other? Is there a line? What's up? Oh, they are, they are side by side. The snail is to his left, and they both have their back turned to you. Is the snail running away too? Yes. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, you know, because I don't know what's going on with Kenneth. I, you know, Kenneth is still right there. <laughs> but also, Kenneth hasn't really tried to provoke him yet, but the running away rabbit is really triggering Harvey's prey drive. So, uh... Hey, small rabbit, have you considered not running away? <laughs> so, uh, Harvey's gonna take a, uh, a running horizontal leap uh, into the back of the running away rabbit and just surf this dude down the hill. All right. Not necessarily trying to kill him, but at the very least trying to take him down and stop him from running away. Okay, so you're going to non-lethally uh, non American History X him somehow. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's more like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles kind of How surfing a dude than it is an American History X curb stomp a dude. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> and uh, because I am raging, it is going to still be at advantage. And then I'll manually add the six on top of it. Oh boy! Oh my first. Uh, How did you do boy. that? Mm. You know, this is actually, you know, if it weren't for me rolling an advantage all night, this would be my second crit fail of the night. Yeah. Um, Amazing. Yeah, like I like I told JD, I have to build up bonuses in what I do because I roll so poorly. So what um, gets added to that three? <laughs> uh, I think just a straight six, so I don't think, unless no. a nine is going to hit, then yeah, no, I think I'm going to, I'm just going to go sailing overhead. Yeah, you're just going <laughs> to sailing, you kind of hit the mud and you just going to squelch, end up like, uh, shin deep. It's a Yeah, soft. and I'm just like, well, this was going to be really impressive. <laughs> the, the... I, I, I just kind of slap myself a little bit to keep up Barbarian Rage. The, the uh, snail, 
as it's beside him, kind of rocks itself and tries to catch him mm-hmm. with its uh, snail neck, snail body, the part that connects the head to the snail shell. And successfully scoop. One piece. What? I think the snail is all just one piece, except for the shell. Yeah, no, that's the thing. I was like, uh, well, it's, it's a foot. Yeah, the, the foot. Slimy foot. <laughs> uh, it scoops up the uh, the hair and tongue. A- a- as and the hair is trying to grab the reins and trying to get everything set up successfully. Kenneth, it's your go. Hmm. So that one rabbit's still, like, trying to run away, right? Yeah, he is now on top of the snail. Hmm. Okay, I feel like I want to use message on this rabbit. <laughs> All right. Right? You want to text I'm... the rabbit. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm basically texting the rabbit... But since it's like message is just a whispered message, and I'm assuming this rabbit maybe is not the smartest, right? Yeah, makes sense. So Kenneth is going to be like, hello, it's me, your rabbit god. Maybe stop (laughs) running. Oh, shit. (laughs) Also, someone should secure that pot, too. So I am that going to roll. I feel Bird like I could go stand on the pot. Yeah. I feel like that's more of a persuasion roll, so I'm going to roll persuasion on that one. Bird was about to king of the mountain that pot. Since you're specifying <laughs> a god, uh, make it a religion check. Religion? Okay. Makes sense. Okay. I got a plus three in persuasion. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Tell her what to do. <laughs> 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 I never get a chance to. Someone has to. That's my kink, is my wife getting put in her place, even if it's not <laughs> me doing it. <laughs> okay, hold on. My stupid keyboard. Okay. How the fuck did it happen? Hello! I am your rabbit god! <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> what the? The stupidest goddamn rules. <laughs> Harvey thinks this rabbit is talking to God. <laughs> Everyone else somehow overhears it and goes, The rabbit god? Are you here? So you, so you uh, said, I am your rabbit god, and what else? <laughs> Maybe stop running. So he, he starts to rev up the reins. He's about to set the snail up into third gear. And he uh-huh. goes, well, if it, it is thy will, Moon Bunny, I guess. <laughs> and he, yeah. Yes, it is I, the Moon Bunny. I, I think that maybe you should turn around and he, tell that group of strangers all of your secrets. Again, whoa. it is I, the Moon Bunny. Do as I say. <laughs> Can't argue with the Moon Bunny. He, 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 <laughs> put, he puts the snail in park. Like, this, I'm not going to. <laughs> And uh, the, the hare hops down off the snail, turns around, arms wide open, facing you all. With arms wide open. <laughs> and he goes, "No, I, I had a crush on Agden Longscarf for like two weeks, and then I saw him wearing nothing but the scarf, and I was no longer interested in him. Oh. You know I get it. <laughs> I, I, I once sometimes. licked the jar, and I, it was saltier than I imagined. <laughs> and he you just know, keeps. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes we, you know, see someone who's really well put together, and we think, "Oh, that person's really attractive." And then you get a better look at him, and you realize, "Oh, I just really liked their outfit." <laughs> he, he just keeps sagely spilling out mildly embarrassing secrets. As, like, he slowly sinks into the mud until he ends up knee-deep. <laughs> Come- Bunny, I, I, I think that the Moon Bunny, he's talking in his normal voice, he's not whispering <laughs> anymore. I think the Moon Bunny was more referring to who sent you here, and why. Well, uh, I, I... I don't speak for God, though. 
Even though I may sound like him, he sounds handsome. You, you read the song when we walked up to you? Uh, we, we weren't for acting long, Scarf. And I, I got... We had the jar. We were trying to get you to... Get, get, trying to get our haul for our boss man. I guess at this point I am going to leave Rage. And I'm just going to walk up and like, Yeah, I remember the lyrics. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's nice. I'm going to start to repeat the lyrics as he perches on the jar with oh, no. drawing the here just in case, but not like aiming it at anyone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Bird, hit, let's let's hear those lyrics again. Yeah, one more time, Bird. <laughs> you want me to read them? <laughs> no, I want you to sing it. <laughs> oh my God. See, the thing is, I'm bad with songs, so I don't know which song you're talking about. Oh no. It's Make fine, it you're not missing anything. Feel it in your heart. Oh, oh God. God. Yeah. It is kind oh. of a vibes based. Vibes based oh, yeah. song. Vibes. I was doing it as, you know, a uh, fucking hoedown from Whose Line Is It Anyways, but then you fuckers had to come in and be like, no, no. It's, it's gotta be. No, fuck you, it's even flow. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's my fault. I heard it on the radio today. Yeah, it is your fault. You're listening mm. to the radio in the year 2023 of our Lord. Well, I if mean... Bird has to slow it down, he's got to change the tune a little bit, so. <laughs> uh, it comes out kind of childish, sing-songy at this point. With sticks and stones, we'll break your nose, we'll beat you blind and steal your clothes, but not among us can compare to the one Willie Swift and stand-up hair. Scarf is glorious, thief notorious, his deeds are truly meritorious. Meritorious. Meritorious, thank you, I'm dyslexic. <laughs> um, meritorious, with a wink and a grin, he'll show you his cunning. Cunning running, quick as a bolt, his long scarf trailing. Gasping, grasping, you'll end up falling. Failing. Flailing. Yeah, it's a weird you'll pout, one. You'll pout, you'll moan, you'll huff, you'll sneer. This isn't very sing-songy. No. Thanks to Ag... Agon? Agden. Agden, Agden Longscarf. Oh, Agden. It's like a dip song. Yeah. Thanks to Agden Longscarf, bringing Prince of Prismere. This is go. like whenever someone else covers 100 Gex songs. Mm-hmm. And, like, you can actually well, understand what they're saying now? Well, the big thing is it kind of has that sing-songy thing, and then halfway through it's like they fucking gave up. <laughs> yeah. I'm not yeah. whoever wrote it. No, it was it was Mr. Of the Coast himself. <laughs> well, they, they, well, they weren't the bards of the coast. No. No, they were not. They could have hired some. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Bird will sing that joyously over and over again <laughs> as he sits on the jar, waving around his rapier. Oh, oh, that's quite enough. <laughs> and as you say it's enough, as he says the last word, he'll cling his his rapier on his, he his helmet hat. <laughs> oh, his pot? <laughs> his pot, yeah. Oh, bravo. Good job. I try. De facto leader, because you're short, so you should be in front. And everyone knows the leader is in front. <laughs> That's true. But also the leader is the loudest. I I am the, the shortest the right now. We're just I, think the barker, I, I think right now the contention for the loudest is me and the barker. <laughs> I'm also the shortest. I am a rabbit, after all. But now that Night Hoof has said it, Bird is calling himself Captain Bird. <laughs> As he should. Anyways, yeah. I'm done. Yeah, uh, what were we so doing? now that now that the bloodlust's gone, I'm kind of confused. What are we doing here? I, I need a cigarette. I don't know about the rest of y'all. <laughs> Memories. Memories. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, Harvey's just gonna light up a cigarette and just kind of stand off to the side just while the rest of y'all conduct the conversation. Oh, mercy. <laughs> All right. Uh, no, well, now that, now that we're not, uh, outright fighting anymore, 
You, you say you work for this Agden Longstarf? Well, of course. He, he, he he's the... He's the, the the brigand prince. He, he's the best thief in all of in all of Prismere. You, you know, even before the the wicked three showed up. Who are the wicked three? Oh, you wicked know, wicked three. They, they showed up. We used to be we used to be owned by Zablina. Uh, Prismere used to be a wonderful land, and then uh, these three showed up. They said they're in charge. They carved the place up. Select on Lorna requires payment from Agden. Agden requires payment from us. It's simple. See. See. Wait. You say you were owned? Uh, you know, amicably. Huh. So wait, I actually have to step in here for a moment. Uh, so you say that you know that uh, you're in that uh, Agden is in charge, but then he's got someone in charge of him. Yeah, in a way. So would you say that he's like, sort of like the assistant manager of this place? Uh, I, I guess? Assistant Wait. manager? That that sounds like something you give a, you know, some sort of whiny loser who won't shut up. I briefly <laughs> consider kicking him <laughs> into the horizon. <laughs> but I think... Eh, I'm already out of rage, and I am really coming down from that. So I, so I put a shoulder, so I put a hand on his shoulder to say, "You get to live today, little bunny," and uh, say, "Why don't you, to, why don't you tell us more about this Agden fella?" He, he's our boss. He's the fastest one of us. He's quite good at his job. What's his job? Br brigandine. Stealing? What's up? Yeah, I, I, I didn't go to college there, little boy. What's a brigand? Little uh, <laughs> boy. It's, it's like it's would, like a. Like would a, his bird brain know that that's similar to pirating? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y you know that's pirating. Pirate. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like it's like pirating, Pirate. but we bathe and we're on land. Oh, so you're liberals just wanting free handouts? <laughs> Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I, I understand exactly what's going on. So you're all just a bunch of liberal pansies, you know, but with your pronoun jar over there collecting woke memories. I understand completely. <laughs> 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 Fucking pronoun jar. I <laughs> <laughs> damn it. Oh, I hate oh, cards so much, but I'm at the same time. <laughs> oh. I hate Harvey because he's a very real part of me that I'm ashamed oh. of. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is fair. Is it? Yes. <laughs> I, mean, I just mean the parts that you grew up in. Yeah. yeah. I understand it. Oh man. I don't. God bless. <laughs> Gobbles. <laughs> Gobbles. Well, listen, I, I, I just do what I told so I could earn my, my share of chow, you know? I'm, I'm just doing what I can. You know, the Nazis did what they were told, too. Nazis. Nazis! Is that kind of a, a little fey monster? Well, uh, yeah, they were a little fey, depending on the historians you talk to, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, knife ears. I, 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 I hope not, <laughs> as if he knows what we're talking about. I, I, I gave my god's obligation. Can I, can I go now? That depends, little man. Where are you gonna go? I, I gotta go. I gotta go up to Agden. Oh, what a coincidence! That's where we're heading. We can travel together. I grab him by the hand and I pull him in for a Donald Trump handshake. <laughs> Harvey uh, Finnegan, nice to meet you. What's your name? Uh, I, well, I believe I'm Gallagher. Wait, Gallagher yeah. died. Oh, yeah, oh. Gallagher fucking died. No, I know I... Rub Rub Tuggington died. No, I oh. thought we were talking. Wait, I thought we were talking to Rub Rub Tuggington. Well, that, that, I that's did the throw issue. Gallagher, but he didn't like. He didn't. He he didn't split like a watermelon like I was expecting him to. No, he only dealt like three damage. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Gallagher, I shake I shake your hand aggressively. Uh, talking, Gallagher, Gallagher. Gallagher. All right, Gallagher. Yeah, I'll remember that. Nice to meet you. And I, 
aggressively let go of the handshake and pull him to the rest of the party. <laughs> well, huzzah, a new friend and good singer. Uh, well. Kirk is still on top of that jug, and if you guys start moving, he's going to try and pick it up. With his feet or his, uh, his hands? Hands? He can't fly. This is true. But he could try to pick it up with his feet. You know, lie on his back. <laughs> That's not gonna work. He's not that stupid. Okay, fine. Don't try and pick it up with your feet. I don't care. Well, I mean, I can't I can't exactly just take you there to act it. That's that's not how this kind of place works. No, of course not. You're our prisoner. Uh, it, no, it's it no, it fuck hell, No, hey, I don't think you understand. You're our prisoner. I, no, I understand. No, no, no. I'm your prisoner. I... Are, are we imprisoning this this little fellow? Yeah, but it it depends on you know like what what your definition of prisoner is. I mean, like depending on how he acts, it, you know, we can be the nice kind of prisoner, you know. The nice kind of prisoner. Yeah, like the nice liberal UN NATO approved kind of prisoner, or the Alabama kind of prisoner. Well, I don't know what that is. <laughs> but I assume uh, we've made a new friend. Context clues. Context clues, yeah. TLDR, we made a friend. Okay. Well, I mean... Alright. Th th this place so, is twisted. It, it's, it's, it's all... It's, it's face shit. Young man, I'm from Montana. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, look, I, I, and he pulls out a, uh, a rusted old compass. See, that's right here. See how it points north? I don't know. Do I see how it points north? It looks like it is pointing north, yes. Okay. All right. Yeah, they, yes. sure. It looks, it just looks like a little circular piece of metal to me. I don't really know compasses. But... And then he, he kind of shakes it a bit and then holds it again. And the, the north needle on the compass kind of spins and points almost the opposite direction. He goes, it doesn't matter where you walk, you just end up wherever Hither wants to take you. Oh yeah, my. We, we've all seen One Piece. We know how Grand Line map rules work. Well, no, th this isn't a... This compass is just a regular compass. It doesn't guide us or anything. It's just a fun little trinket I picked up one time. P pulled it out of an old well. Well, fortunately, I've got my own compass, and I just kind of kick him gently to the ground. Oh. I'm getting navigating, compass. You know, I don't think that was necessary. I didn't think so either, but he kept bitching. Hmm. He was asking for it! <laughs> well, if you all say so. So, what, what, what... What were they asking? They were asking for cherished memories. Night Night Hope goes over to try to look into the jar that Bird is standing Damn. on. It's sort of a uh, marble green jar with a cork on the top. Oh. So I cannot see into it. No. Well, shucks. Say, Bird, would you, would you mind uh, hopping off there for a moment? Um, yeah, we're going to walk off, but he's still touching the jar. He likes okay. the jar. It's his jar now. That's fair. Even if he's the jar, it's his jar. All right, I'll try to uncork it and look in. Wait, upon uncorking it, nothing seems to happen, but looking inside, there's sort of a, um, oh, what's it called? It's, um, uh, sort of a quicksilver liquid. Is that what it is? There's sort of a silvery, swirling liquid inside. Ah, I see, I see. I see, so do you take all of this campaign's magical artifacts from Harry Potter, JD? I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> you got to bust out a sword. Listen. You're going to bust out a sorting hat next, tell it to <laughs> into a house, you know. Oh, I'm I think Hufflepuff. I'm a Hufflepuff. This steals Shut from up. a lot of fantasy shit, but none of it is directly Harry Potter. It doesn't describe what's in the jar, and memories are always going to be silver, because silver's of the fun color. 
It's a sorting hat, but it tells you what your true gender is. <laughs> oh, that's a scarf. Uh, what if Bird sticks his hand in the jar? You don't feel anything. What happens if I piss in the jar? <laughs> don't. <laughs> no, I've been chaotic enough tonight. I'm not going to piss in the jar. Don't piss in the jar. No don't wizards piss in here. The jar. <laughs> Matt, the jar. why are you so stuck on this? <laughs> Let's always I haven't got to you play people. in a while. I'm just in I'm just in goblin mode. I'm it's sorry. It's possible the wizard awakens <laughs> something in him. <laughs> just a thought. Bird is you shouldn't have started. Hmm? You shouldn't have started us off at level three. We're too powerful. Yes. <laughs> Bird's gonna try uh, getting some rope out to strap this jug to his back. It's his jug now. <laughs> All right. As you're all loaded up, we go Wait, say I something. I had a question. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how, did did Bird pull out any residue after sticking his hand in? No. It, it it was as if there was nothing in the jar. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay. Carry on. Uh, as a uh, Gallagher starts to walk. He, he kind of got, he walks through a mist for a bit before arriving at a uh, large stone well in the middle of sort of the way, kind of having water flow out and in of it, right, out and in, in regular intervals, not too dissimilar from a heartbeat. Really? Uh, it's about ten feet tall, five feet in diameter. And with every uh, sort of exhale, a kind of a geyser of water shoots from the well going 30 feet in the air. And uh, Bird, you can see there yeah. are, you can see there are uh, several trinkets, approximately, approximately, there's a single trinket, just sort of uh, dancing on the lip of it, on the inside of the well, that kind of flows up with every gush. Ooh, I'm going after that trinket with Bolton. That well is smarter. <laughs> Gas. Oh no. <laughs> you just <eat> bolt. <laughs> All right. Where is my table? Is this the table button? Mm -hmm. Is this the whopper it's button? It's your button, not mine. All right. Give me. Give me the. Give me the. There it is. All right. Upon getting to the. Uh, gushing a well, you see nice. on a string there is a brass orb etched with a strange rune on it. Mine. Upon grabbing it, a uh, will-o'-wisp floats out. It turning visible. It goes, hey, don't be a thief. That, oh. that That's my trinket. I earned it. It's mine. But it was hanging here. Finders, keepers, losers, weepers. Okay, g give me a trinket. I have a trinket in return at least then. At least make it a trade. Let me see what I got. Um, I will hand him the... Uh, what do I got? I've got it. You I got a balloon a animal? Yeah, we all got balloon animals. So you can just give him a balloon yeah, animal. Yeah, give him a balloon animal. Yeah, but well, I also got an origami paper folded into a horse thing. Oh. I pull that and go, fine? Sure, just put it in the well. That'll work. What happens when I put... I, I will put the paper in the well, grab the trinket. What happens to the paper? It just kind of floats on the water for a second, gets soaked, and then with the gush, it starts to go up, but then gets caught by an invisible string attached to the well again. Ooh. He goes, oh, thank you. That That's a good trait amongst friends, says the little blue fireball that is the Will-O-Wisp. Delightful. And it floats back down into the well. I wonder if I could trade my heterosexuality. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta be a trinket. Yeah, probably right. So. <laughs> that was. Can you remove? That was fucking weird. Bird, what, what have you got there now? It's mine! What is it? 
Surely one of you magic casters has the identify spell. You would think so. Yeah, yeah you would think so. You'd think <laughs> so. Who's a magic <laughs> caster? Wait, am God, I a magic you. caster? Yes, right. as a ranger, you have spells. Huh. <laughs> you're, you're, you're what they call a half caster. Fuck. I don't know. You're right, I had to be half smart to play. <laughs> oh, fuck. I got more fun things, like mage mage hand. Yeah. Yeah, Matt. Get, get the good mage hand anything. and you can flip people off with the hand. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Alright. <sighs> I got the good spells. So as you... Like, message. As he kind of looks around and goes, Well, it should be this way. And goes to the mist again. You come across a familiar sight. You see a patchwork balloon poorly glued together. Oh, hey, is that the Set balloon up. we saw earlier? Attached Oops. to a crumbling stone tower rising above the swamp. Leaning at such an angle that it threatens to keel over. Black brambles around the base of the tower cling to its lower half. You see the large woven basket. The basket dangles 30 feet above the surface of the, s of the swamp. As you get closer, you just hear, I say! G g I say, give me a hand here! Bird will start Where the clapping. hell are you? Yeah, 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 Bird, do your thing first. Is that balloon talking to us? No, no, don't be silly. It's not the balloon talking to us. It's the basket of the balloon that's what, talking to what, us. What are you doing, Bird? Oh, oh, oh. Bird is just clapping. <laughs> oh, just, shh, 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 shh. Not, not so yeah. loud. Not we're, as much noise. Just come up here and get me. We're fucking you didn't give me your hand. I was giving you our hand. <laughs> I think I'm no one happy. in this party is smart. <laughs> No. <laughs> We're I just think the fae keeps hippos. out intelligent people. Yeah, I think the fae keeps out intelligent people. <laughs> it's how they keep people from like figuring their shit out. I am the fae. <laughs> I should clap with bird. <laughs> we all start clapping. Yay, round of applause. <laughs> Listen, quiet. I am Sir Talavar, one of the Summer Queen's loyal servants. Free me, please! I was trying to escape from this vile Bavlorna Blightstraw when the balloon done... The, the wind caught the balloon, caught us back. My pilot, the Honorable Willywog, did not survive. I've been stuck here for a good while now, and I want to be safe. There are snakes beneath me! And... Shady, you know what I'm gonna ask. What's the distance? It is. <laughs> 50 feet up above the air, but you also have to deal with a 20-foot diameter uh, thorn, thorns around it. Well, like I said, depending on how, you know, and what the what the range is, you know, I might not have to worry about thorns, but it sounds like 50 feet, okay, it'll be, that would be like a one-way trip for me, but I couldn't clear the distance of the hole. I could, is, is the diameter of the whole bowl of it 50 feet, or is that just 50 feet to get to the center? The diameter is the uh, the full from left to right. Yeah. Uh, and it's just thorns and hor and you know sharp shrubbery that's yeah. difficult to get around. Is this up in that's... the air or down in like a cavern? Uh, you're walking on on Earth, plain flat outside field area. There's okay, but. But so I'm asking though, oh. is the diameter fifty feet or is the radius fifty feet? The diameter oh no, the height is fifty feet. Uh, the balloon is up cool? high. <laughs> the, the the tower is fifty feet tall and at the top of it is the balloon. Okay, yeah. I see. But and and now how big it like the radius, which is just half of the bowl. What's the radius of it? It would be ten feet if the di Oh. The, oh the, the, that's wait, not too bad. What do you what what are you at what's what are you calling the bowl? The I'm as, just I'm assuming it's like a big circle of thorns around it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So the radius would be the distance from the edge of the circle to the middle. Yes. Which did would be half the. Did you go to fucking grade yeah. school? Well, did you not go to grade school? A radius is just half the diameter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and if the diameter like is know twenty. What diameter was. Oh my god. You didn't know what diameter was. It's ten feet. Ten feet fight, is the radius. Fight! 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 fight. All right. I'm so, the bigger math uh, loser here. 
No, you weren't fucking telling. You were saying the diameter is covered in thorns. Okay, okay. And so I said it's 20 feet. Diameter? You weren't fucking telling. Ah! Me. I asked you what the radius is. <laughs> I'm moping out over here. Fist, fight, fist, fight. Lock him with a rope. <laughs> It's hard for right. standing there uh, yelling about math. <laughs> yes, I'm yelling about math to God. Yeah. The rest of y'all figure out what you're Shaking doing while I finish screaming. Uh, clapping he at the balloon. He seems like a nerd. <laughs> he does indeed. You are quite right, Kenneth. <laughs> Everyone, let's point and laugh at him. <laughs> <laughs> Rocks fall, you all die. <laughs> <laughs> and then a skeleton pop. Yeah, and then a skeleton pop. Yeah, everybody, <laughs> GG. <laughs> everyone's rope, like in their bag. They don't have any. Anyone's isn't like mounted to the side of their bag. Yeah, no, mine's in my bag. I don't, he doesn't even remember he has it. Okay, what about night hook? What? What? Oh, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Is, is your, your rope. yeah? Is your rope in the bag or like attached to the bag? My rope? Oh, I yeah. never figured out if I had a rope. I assume I have a rope because I have one explorer's pack. Yeah, you got rope then. Um, right. I think the explorer's pack it's strapped to the side. Wait, so... Wait, do you need rope? Uh, while you guys are laughing, Bird is trying to get rope off your person. Oh, okay, yeah. You you all of his on his job. <laughs> I mean, Nighthoof just lets you. Yeah. And then Dinner. he walks up to Harvey and like, Harvey, what are you wearing? Dude, I don't really remember. Uh, I think I'm wearing just a fucking Buffalo Wild Wings polo. Yeah. Name tag. I pull on the edge of your polo. Okay, uh, what's going dead. on here? Is is, is, is Bird like trying to flirt with me because I'm not gay anymore? Is Harvey He's a shirt tucker? He showed me the rope. I know what I mean. Oh, oh, That's yeah. All right, rope. Yeah, all right. I got it. Yeah. Uh, no. Ah, yes. Just rope. so we're clear, though, I'm not gay anymore. <laughs> it's like the whole reason I'm on this journey. Oh. Bird <laughs> looks at you like you're there. stupid for a quick second. Like, what? This has nothing to do with rope. I mean, being homosexual. <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> nothing to do with rope and rescuing the thing. Yeah, all right. Yeah, sure. I'm trying to be smart without being smart. <laughs> I do believe that's that's the most coherent our friend Bird has ever been. Yeah, seriously. Like, Bird's just like, oh, suddenly, oh, snap to leader role here. All right. Because he's the leader. He's, yeah, he's, he's the shortest. Not doing anything. He's the shortest. Yeah, it's like opposite of Invader <laughs> Zim rules. Yes. I mean, it's I'm still precisely. a rabbit. I haven't changed out of being a rabbit. <laughs> Change into a bird. <laughs> mm. Assert like, dominance, be bird. Yeah, <laughs> a, a kinku or like a bird. Hmm. Oh, give me a second. I'm assuming all of Kenneth's faces look like a handsome Squidward. Uh, basically. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. He can never get the face right. Yeah. It's got it's just he, whatever he is. He's handsome. It's got that uh, face uh, on everything. Uh, if I can. Disgust, disgusting. <laughs> Actually, the pixels make it better. <laughs> well, it doesn't have a reason to change out of being a rabbit right now, so he's gonna chill being a rabbit. So I have doing math. I can basically jump to the middle of the tower. If I get to the middle of the tower, will there be enough? Is there enough like foot room there that I can just grab on and make a second jump there? Or yeah, yeah. Will there, I be there's there's like a welcome mat space. Okay, there's welcome mass space. All right, yeah. perfect. All right, so I'm going to take the rope that was given to me uh, uh, by Bird, and uh, I'm going to... All right, I'll be back in a minute. God damn. And then I... <laughs> as, hoping there's enough slack in this rope, I take... I get... I kind of circle around, do get a running start, and then just uh, take a flying leap towards uh, the tower. All right. Um, Ooh, and, yeah... I, I should I should note. Um, normally, I, I make note of this when I'm in tense, in tense situations. I figure because I've got free time, there's not someone actively dying here. I didn't need to specify, but I have activated my jump ring. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay. So uh, basically, with running, uh, I can with a running start without magical aid beyond without my racial feet, just a standard jump. I can jump 27 feet up, and I can jump much further forward. So I figure that would take me past the 10 feet of thorns and to roughly the halfway point of the pillar. All right. So you, uh, I mean, you got enough range. Yeah, you could jump. You hit the pillar fine. Nice. Oh. <clears throat> Oof. All right. Uh, so I, uh, I take a look around me where I'm at at the middle of the pillar, and uh, I, I look back at the party. He's like, so they want, uh, you want me to tie this to the pillar or what? Sure. There are serpents sleeping in there. Don't make too much noise. You know, I'm not prepared for serpents today. A bunch of hand movements that don't make any sense. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm I'm just going to do a basic knot here around. Like, can I get my hands around the fucking pillar? Can I no, get the rope around the pillar? No. But right. I'm going to say, like, there is, like, one of those... It doesn't have a door knob on it. It, Even though it is in ruins to such an extent... You, Going inside would be a waste, and you couldn't really open the door anyways. It still has a uh, giant handle you can tie around. Okay, yeah, we'll just tie it there for in case. I don't know what we need it for, but just in case, I tie the rope to that handle. And uh, I'm going to, for my next thing, because I can't do a running jump here, obviously, I'm going to have to trigger uh, one of my racial abilities, which just allows me to do a standing jump. And my stand... Uh, that ability is called Rabbit Hop as a bonus action. If my speed isn't zero, I can jump five feet times my proficiency bonus without provoking opportunity attacks. And that does stack with the jump spell, so basically I can jump 30 feet. Yeah. Right. So, uh, yeah, so I am going to basically <laughs> clear the rest of the pillar and just make it to where uh, the balloon is stuck here. All right. Uh, are you leaning in the basket next to it? Like on I think the for now top. I'm just jumping to the top of the pillar. All right. Uh, when you hit the top of the pillar, you hear a slight mm -hmm. groan from the uh, balloon that's bare, like not, kind of knotted up there. Mm -hmm. As you look into the basket, there is a uh, dead frog man. A yeah. cu couple like baskets of food and that sort of thing, and a uh, bird cage holding a small violet fairy dragon with a mustache and sword looking at you and he goes, uh, yes, yes, save me. You'll be in my, I, Sir Tavlar, will f be in your death. I was about to say, you better fucking fix that order there, there big chief. <laughs> oh, it's so adorable. <laughs> oh, that's uh, almost cute. <laughs> I thought Kenneth had the handsome Squidward face. <laughs> Yeah, that. Oh my God, that is a handsome Squidward face dragon. I'm, Jesus I, just, I'm <laughs> so handsome Squidward faced. I like. Him. Uh, yeah, so I just kind of kneeling down at the top of the pillar. I start bunching up the uh, the uh, the bits of the balloon cloth that I'm able to get bunched up in a hand. And while I'm doing that, I'm like, uh, so what's your deal there, Dragon Man? I, I was. Listen, Barvlona Blightshaw has taken over this part of Prismere. My queen sent me here to offer some assistance, and it turns out things were worse than expected, so I turned into a scouting mission. Uh, yeah, it kind of reminds me of the time where I got sent to another Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> yes, it is just like the time <laughs> buffaloes received wings. Yeah. Yeah, I'll see what I can do for you here. Uh, how how heavy is it? Like, I'm bunching up a little bit of this parachute a little bit. About how heavy am I feeling this basket to be? Because he doesn't look like a big guy. Oh, no, he's a little guy. He's in a bird, like, average bird cage size, bird cage. Yeah, but I want to loot the bodies in the basket, too. So I'm uh, thinking about uh, taking the whole basket with me. All that, it, like, it, it's, uh, geez, what is the weight of a... Uh, how big are the frog men? Well, the dead frog man is like four feet, four feet five. Mm -hmm. Which I've already suplexed a guy much bigger than yeah. that quite easily. What is there? I have to look at the. Okay, so uh, like as you're doing this, it kind of 
moves and adjusts the basket, but you definitely would not be able to pick up the basket on your own. It's they're they're, they're heavy. Even a small makeshift one like this is going to be like. Yeah, but what if I got really beefy and large? Which, as you know, I have the ability to do. Yes, which will be a very smart thing to do on top of a ruining, crumbling, leaning tower. I didn't ask you what the smart thing to do <laughs> was, JD. I don't think our group... You know, I think we just had this conversation. Yes. I just... I see the consequences of what you're about to do. And it, it brings fear to me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, JD, I don't know if you know this, but, uh, yeah, my Barbarian Rage gives me resistance to most kinds of damage, and I'm pretty sure the piercing of those thorns count as resisted. So I'm not terribly worried about the hole down below here. What I am worried about is, can I lift this thing if I get large? If you get large, you would be able to lift it, yes. <laughs> so as I start to get into my rage, I basically just start, I, I grapevine my legs around the pillar, and just so, like, I get, like, a really good grip on this thing. And, uh, just, just gripping on with, just using my, using my calves and my glutes. I'm just gripping onto the rock pillar and wrapping the parachute, uh, of the balloon around my forearm. I just start to all right, all right. Uh, that's not the voice. All right, now I want you to hold on to your ball sack because uh, things are about to get a little bit wild. Okay. And I am going to roll for strength to basically chuck the whole uh, parachute beyond uh, the thorns. All right. Let's see what I got here. All right, I've been rolling poorly all night, but I have advantage. Let's see if it's enough to fix it. Believe in you. So once Double. again, Double I'm threes. rolling a flat 2d20. <laughs> we will manually add a six to it. Ooh. Okay, 25 total. Is yeah. that enough, Mr. DM man? <clears throat> yeah, die, DM man. Maybe. So uh, as you pick up the balloon and chuck it over it does successfully make it uh, upon hitting the upon hitting it it lets a loud squelch into the mud uh two large two large boa constrictors of gigantic size kind of stir out from the uh from the thorns and kind of poke their heads up and they, you just kind of hear a, hi, a hissy version of sort of like, eh. and they sort and they just flutter off. They oh, slither off it, into the uh, wilderness. Do me a favor, and roll me uh, acrobatics. Acrobatics. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm assuming this is is this taking the place of my action for the next turn, or is this just a passive thing? This is to make. This is to make sure uh, you don't fall with the tower. Okay, and this is... I don't think I have a reason to have this at advantage. So this is going to be a, a normal roll at acrobatics, and I believe acrobatics is a plus two for me. So here's where things get dicey. Ooh. Uh, dicey. Uh -huh. Okay, not terrible. I got a 16. Yeah, okay, cool. Ooh. So the, the so tower starts to crumble beneath you. And I go, oh, 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 oh. I got both arms out. I'm just like, okay, all right, I think I'm okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, I feel like a pinata. And uh, as it falls, it just kind of lands, giving you kind of a, a crude structure to make it back to the central area. With you not injured or landing into the thorns in any major fashion. Yeah, so I am uh, I'm going to jump and basically just kind of do a landing to do a roll uh, on on the ground there. Uh, uh, do, 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 do you want me to roll for landing, or is it swampy enough that I'm not, I don't need to worry no, about it? No, it's swampy enough. You're fine. All right, so I'm just going to hit the ground like a big, chonky meteor. And because I haven't taken damage in a bit, I imagine I'm probably shrunk back down to normal size by the time I hit. 
<laughs> As you land, Sir Talavar kind of says, Good show, old boy. Good, good show. Thanks. I'm very talented, and I believe in myself even when I shouldn't. Night Hoof kind of scoots closer to Harvey. Oh, my, Harvey. You, you, you know, you're very forceful and capable. Yes, thank you. Unfortunately, as we mentioned, I'm not gay anymore. <laughs> well, how do you know? <laughs> oh, oh, you think I haven't tried? <laughs> do you think I? Do you think I haven't tried? No, I am cursed with heterosexuality right now. That's the whole reason I'm here. Oh, that's terrible. I'm so sorry, I, my friend. I know. It's. I, that's why do you think I'm so mad all the time? I. You know. I split that dude in half. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> do, you, do you think I was this mad all the time? Do you think I would do that with, before when I was gay? No, absolutely not. <laughs> I split oh, dudes in half in a no? completely different way. Oh, there we go. Oh, there yeah. it is. <laughs> yeah, but now I do it in a mean, heterosexual way. What a shame. <laughs> anyway, what are we even doing here? <laughs> you, you've rescued me, and now if I could just ask one second favor of you... I I am stuck in this here cage, <laughs> and he just kind of rattles the bird cage. He's in. This, I have an assistant manager. Hmm, <laughs> 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 you're asking a lot of me there, little man. I just I, I just sort of I just sort of stuck my neck out for you in a really really dangerous I'm way. Out of the goodness <laughs> of my heart and everything. Pull some stuff out of his feathers. Is it locked? Is it closed? Is it broken? What's going on with it? Oh, it is locked. It has a slight shimmer about it. He goes, oh, you, you won't be able to open it or anything without the proper key. And if there's anyone who has the key, it has to be Jingle Jangle. Is it one of those bullshit keys where the key is love? What? No. This is, this is a <laughs> land of metaphor and bullshittery. This isn't a land of... <laughs> That <laughs> this is not love land. <laughs> Bullshit land, yes. Alright, I was told I was gonna get a reward for freeing you. Uh what, well, is uh, what are we doing here? Free? Who said then, who really? said you'd get a reward? You said you'd be in my debt? I think it was something like that? I don't know. But li uh, I keep wanting to call you line. Bird, roll it back. What did he say? <laughs> Tapes player noise. Was there? Was Bird there for that? I mean, he was a distance away, but he was there. Okay. We were um, Bird repeats to him in his exact voice. <laughs> because. But at low volume. Yeah, it's a you were just far enough away. It just sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was it. That's what I heard, too. Yeah, so why do we get out of this now? Just a little keychain? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we could make friendship bracelets. Listen, how would I be able to reward you while I'm trapped in this here cage? He's got a point. Maybe, maybe I'll try sitting on the cage. Maybe have bird sit on the cage. Maybe it's like an egg. It has to be just the right temperature. No, no, I could crush it. Oh, okay, crush it. Yeah, go right ahead. See if that works. This is Ooh. the least comfortable chair you have ever sat on. <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah. that dragon just got a butt, a centaur butt right in his face. Yeah, I'd say there, there is... I need, the, I, I, I need the dragon to roll to see if they're into it. <laughs> Roll. I, rolling for homoeroticism. Juicy dump truck horse ass. <laughs> yes. Just dump truck horse ass. Roll a ass. charisma check for dump truck oh. horse ass. Oh no. And, and then the dragon rolls to resist the dump truck horse ass. Yeah, it'll be an opposed roll. <laughs> Damn. Oh no. You let out a gross oh, ass God. horse fart. Like an early oh, no. 2000s movie upon sitting down. <laughs> Oh, critical failure on seduction. <laughs> Sir Tower goes, No, please! That won't open the cage! Yes! <laughs> We're so good at D&D. &D. <laughs> We're the best at it. Listen! Black John Lorda cursed this thing. 
There's only the only only the key will work, and if anyone has the key, it's going. Other than that horrendous monster, it's going to be Jingle Jangle. All right, what I'm hearing is, and I just I take the cage and I just tie it to my belt loop. What I'm hearing is, I got a new Tamagotchi. <laughs> Oh my god. Don't worry, I won't forget to feed you. <laughs> but will you give him a bath? Uh, uh, we'll see. I could give him a bath. No, it's right, not my time. You want to trade Tamagotchis? No. What do I get out of it? Well. You know, I can't offer much. Yeah, because I'm not gay anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and alas, I am betrothed. Oh, really? Good for you. Alas, huh? You know, tomorrow is my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe tomorrow you'll get the Tamagotchi, but for now it's my Tamagotchi. Okay. Um, <clears throat> What is this little fellow's name again? I am Sir Tal Ta Tevelar. Yeah, I'm Ta I'm Sir Tevelar. Yeah, it's Sir Tamagotchi. Well, <laughs> Sir what? Sir Tamagotchi. Oh, excuse me. Sir Tamagotchi. Sir Tevlar. 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 Sir Kevlar. Sir Toblerone. Turlar. So as you're all having this lovely conversation. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's right. We have a hostage. We yeah, were watching. I'd say uh, Gallagher oh. <laughs> has taken about two steps away from the crowd. Yeah. Did I see that? Yes. Did anyone see that? <laughs> uh, Is Bernard he's... will make a cannonball noise <laughs> and point at what's his face. That this makes Night Hoof jump about a foot in the air <laughs> out of fear. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. We got a hostage. Someone want to take care of that? And uh, in a day, new friend, a... where are you going? Right, right. I was just, uh, I, I was just trying to get us, trying to help us find a new destination. This place is a, is a labyrinth within itself. Um, with a uh, a deep arg voice, he'll say. Secure the prisoner! <laughs> yeah, Kenneth, um, secure um, the prisoner. <laughs> you haven't done enough lately, Kenneth. You stop <laughs> secure the prisoner. <laughs> Kenneth hops over to the prisoner. Still a rabbit. Has anyone realized that the rabbit is Kenneth? Have y'all put two and two together there? No. He should have a not, rabbit no. hanging out with y'all. Bird saw it happen, so... So, we saw you transform into Kenneth. Yeah, I think... But I We're think... all a bunch of himbos. Did you realize? Yeah. No, 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 no. I, he definitely hasn't put together that you're a uh, thing. I think uh -huh. that uh, he kind of just decided that, like, there was a rabbit infection that just got <laughs> Kenneth. Uh -huh. But he's not <laughs> that. He wasn't that attached to Kenneth as an elf, a half elf. So he's uh -huh. just all like, yeah, I guess Kenneth's a rabbit now. All right. Whatever. <laughs> um, he I think. I think Nighthoof took it as, oh yes, Kenneth was a rabbit all along. He went to his true form. His, his yes, this is form. his true form, obviously. Yeah, well, it still serves Kenneth to be a rabbit, so he's just going to hop over. He's playing good cop here to our, our little prisoner. And he goes, hello there. Uh, hello. How you doing? I'm kind of stressed yeah, out. Know me. S several of my friends got <laughs> killed, and my snail is out in the wilderness doing who knows what. It happens Shall to we the go best get of your us. Snail? <laughs> oh well, we we couldn't go back. Going back, we might end up going forward. This whole place is all jumbly wumbly. That's what my mother used to call it, old jumbly wumbly. <laughs> <laughs> It must be nice to have a mother. But say bird will go, mother? <laughs> mother. Mother. As you, as you can imagine, Harvey does not have a good relationship with his mother either. 
<laughs> Bird doesn't. It, you get the impression Bird doesn't know what the word mother means. I mean, mother. that sounds about right. <laughs> well, I mean, don't worry. Like, push, push but the like baby But like he's down missing enough. something. It's not that he doesn't necessarily know what it means, but it's almost like it's blank. Well, life giver. Kevin's too self-absorbed to really realize that. <laughs> so he's just gonna press ahead. He's like, so, what brings you to this neck of the woods? Relatable. Uh. <laughs> the, the, the scary man that murdered my friends did. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that seems like a bummer. I think he's like talking about us. <laughs> That seems like a bummer. I'm just a little rabbit. I wouldn't know anything about that. You know, I don't believe I killed anyone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that centaur didn't kill anybody. <laughs> no murder squad. I definitely haven't committed any murders at all. Now, the bird definitely killed somebody. The ra the big rabbit definitely killed the fuck out of somebody. But yeah, the centaur didn't kill anybody. <laughs> Did Bird actually kill somebody? I thought he just oh, hit Bird somebody. Killed somebody. Yeah, you killed that one that went, took a swing at Harvey. Oh, <laughs> yeah, someone yeah. tried to attack me, and you just fucking sniped him. Uh -huh. I forgot I killed him. Yeah. I thought I just hit him. No, he went plunk impressive. in the mud. <laughs> it's true. I bifurcated a guy. <laughs> Forceful like. Yeah, that's one of Den's favorite websites, Bifurcadia. <laughs> Shut the uh -oh. fuck up. <laughs> so uh harvey looks at uh ken really studies uh -huh. you know the new form uh -huh. and he wants to ask uh -huh. but asking personal questions about your fr to your friends is gay so uh <laughs> yeah ask about sports he's just gonna be like mm, yeah yeah so uh yeah how's it going ken <laughs> i mean going fine yeah is it are we fine i'm I mean, not I'm sure fine. i know where we are you know most of the times i don't know where i am and i still manage to find a way to get out of it so we're gonna do fine i can't argue with that yeah mm -hmm. good talk ken good and, talk, then I everybody. Just, <laughs> and i just punch him lightly in the shoulder and then just walk off <laughs> I guess I guess you completely walked off because you've left for all twenty. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <did I? laughs> yeah, you left it for like a second. That's weird. Anyway. So yeah, as uh, it was that yeah, good what... of a talk. Yeah, it was a good talk. <laughs> good talk. <laughs> Alright, take us to your leader. I I'm trying. It's it's hard around here, you know, th things just kinda get like I said, you know what my mom always said, jumbly wumbly. Mm-hmm. Do you have the key? Do you have the key to my Tamagotchi? <laughs> Sir Tavler upon saying this, like, no, that would be two individuals could probably have it, and Slack John Lorna or Jingle Jangle, and hopefully it's Jingle Jangle. She's actually a sweetheart. And I point to, uh, fuck, I wrote his name down, but I've forgotten it. Gallagher. Gallagher. I point to Gallagher. Is that not one of these two guys here? You point at one guy and says, oh, are these two? What, what? No, I point to Gallagher for Sir Tamagotchi, and I say, is this not one of those two guys? No. 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 Ah, well, all right, let's keep looking. You know, s someone with the name J Jingle Jangler or whatever, they sound like they have keys. <laughs> oh, b believe you me, does she have keys? She's got too it. many keys. Big she, keys? Yes, she lives in Telemy Hill. She's, in, in fact, you could, you, oh, what the heck is going on with you, Moose? My mouse hacked it up. Uh, is that, are we supposed to be seeing those Final Fantasy Tactics characters? Or no, that's like just my wallpaper. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's like, I, I didn't see anything. It's, it's fine. Uh, she lives, <laughs> are we supposed to be seeing the Futanari wallpaper, or is that... Uh... Were you about to get banned from Twitch? <laughs> uh, oh, believe you me. Yes. <laughs> uh, she lives up on Telemy Hill. 
It's probably one of the only safe place in in hither. It, you know, it's the, the only place that has any bit of joy and respite for the most part. Oh. Everywhere else is kind of a, I'm not gonna lie, kind of a shithole. Oh, It'll please happen. lead us there. I'm in a cage, I can't. Verbally. Duh. All right, uh, and he looks looks around for a little bit, and you see a hill kind of poke through the through the fog mist. A good like, let's say fifty yards away. And he kind of points his ah there. And, over there. Yeah, G Gallagher kind of looks at you. So, so now that he's gone, yeah, do I still have to be here? Or? Oh no, you can physically guide us. Oh, okay. So as you walk through the mud, and you arrive, arrive at a hill, you're greeted by the scent of sweet-smelling fruit, damp, downy, silver-green moss, blankets, a gentle upward slope for giving way yep. to... When you say the smell of damp, downy, what the fuck are you referring to? Are you referring to, like, the fabric softener downy? No, no, the, the smell is sweet-smelling fruit. There's damp, downy, silver, silvery-green moss... Okay, Downey the adjective, not yes. Downey the noun. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You're not supposed to use Downey as a noun anymore, I don't think. Shut up. <laughs> okay, I wasn't going to say that one, because even though my character is cishet and toxic, I'm not. I did not know it had another noun use. Downey the fabric softener. Oh. I, did. <laughs> I forgot. Jesus. I don't Jesus. think in brand names, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not a corpo. We're all toxic fuckheads, but I was holding back. <laughs> so you find this moss blanket gently upward slope, giving way to a craggy ridge that marks the top of the hill. Dozens of enormous willow trees dot the hillside, swaying as though in a breeze, despite the absence of one. You know, Sorry, this I'm kind of kind of Go reminds ahead. me of home. <laughs> it's rather nuts. I'm, I'm just trying to get my head back in the game after canceling JD. <laughs> <laughs> well, here, let me get the cancel sound effect. What was the cancel? We, we have a couple. Uh... Yeah, I keep forgetting I have access to the sound bar here. Uh... Oh, no. There you go. <laughs> Jesus Christ, everybody. <laughs> That's, oh, there nice. <laughs> That's me. You wondered how I got here. I said a slur on main. <laughs> oh no. Hey, oh man, somebody called me the, the arsler the other day. Anyway. Oh damn. <laughs> I don't know. care for that. They were Give big me their mad. name and I will beat them up. It was some rando on the internet. They were they were just big men. It's okay. Oh. <laughs> I have somebody who can find out who they are and we can ruin their life. Oh no, no no no, it's fine. The okay. only good slur is turf. It's not a slur, but yes. It's yeah. not, but it's a fu if it were, it would be the best slur to use. <laughs> yeah. They like to pretend like it is one, and it's like, <laughs> no. 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 As you, if, since we're saying it. <laughs> if, it, if turf was a slur, why do I keep calling you that? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. As, right. as you're working your way up the hill, you start to notice the trees get a little bit closer, and they kind of, like, old-timey cartoon kind of start swaying and dancing as they're walking next to you. Rubber hose animation. Yeah. Can uh, we also take on this characteristic? If you wish to. Like, I'm just imagining some spooky, scary skeletons vibes. I think we're all dumb enough that uh, it would happen regardless of it, whether we wished it or not. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers. What one of the trees goes, oh, well, well. we. 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 M-I-C-K-E-Y, Mickey fucking Mouse. I was talking to Steamboat Oh. Talking to Steamboat Willie. Willie. Oh. Uh, let's see. Mickey Mouse can suck my fucking dick, and that's canon. 
<laughs> what, what, what are the trees? You uh, wouldn't enjoy it right now. You weren't gay anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'm having no, no pleasure. It's a dominance thing, not <laughs> yeah. a sexual thing. Oh, like dogs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I assure you, I'm receiving no pleasure from it, but I am the dominant alpha male here. <laughs> and as a cishet male, I also believe in alpha male dynamics and pack dynamics in general. Yeah, that's that's not really a thing. Have you heard of sigma males? They're a super ultra rare kind of male that's equally as important as an alpha male, but separate from the pack. No, tell me everything. Oh, oh no. yeah, there's this, there's a few online tests I've got here that will tell you if you're a sigma male or not. Online? Yeah, no, hold on. Let me get my smart phone. Hey, JD, if I isekai'd with a smartphone, what would it be right now? A rock. <laughs> but, but like a pet rock with googly eyes attached to it? You know, my, my, my Tinder That's app. That's a rock fact. <laughs> yeah. all, my ten, all my Tinder matches are probably wondering where I've been. It That's appears a... your Sigma male uh, story is a rock fact. Uh, yeah. Uh, I hold up the rock with the googly eyes. This is a sigma male. Oh, now I and can he, identify them. Yes, yeah. If you see more of these, you know that's a sigma male. Uh, they they are very important in our society. I'll look out for them. Yeah. Anyway, what are we even fucking doing here? So as you reach the top of the hill, the, the trees kind of wave you on. Nighthoof looks for uh, rocks with googly eyes, thinking they're sigma males and very important. <laughs> As you reach the top, uh, there's a cave in the shape of a keyhole uh, uh, with, you know, sort of an easy walkway slightly lived into it. Once you've entered the uh, Jingle Jangle's Den at the hilltop, worn stone steps lead down into what feels like a cellar. It's chilly in there. Uh, I, uh, first, I want to hear more about the keyhole before we move on. It's a giant cave with a keyhole shape. Oh, okay, so it's not a literal keyhole. I mean, it's not like a keyhole-sized keyhole. It's no, just it's the shape a of a keyhole, but it's a cave. Yeah, it's a cave-sized keyhole. Okay, How never uncomfortably heterosexual does it feel walking in through it? Well, wait, wait, what? <laughs> Answer the question. <laughs> well, it makes you, you know, it, it doesn't do anything when you're walking into it, but when you walk away, it doesn't want to make you hear you say, please, oh, baby, don't go. So, that's I'm not heterosexual it, at all. I'm saying, is it a trap? No, it's not a trap. <laughs> you walk away, you don't hear me say, please, oh baby, don't go. Okay, all right. It's the steps, some, some yeah. about steps. <laughs> it, it feels like a cellar, it's chilly in there. And you detect a subtle scent of iron in the air. From a distant spot in the chamber, sputtering candles illuminate a multitude of keys dangling from taut strings that crisscross the walls. Hundreds of keys lie strewn on the floor. Keys are lining on the walls. Every, about every square inch that you can make out, if it isn't a key, it has something key-esque attached to it. As you take in the scene, you hear the sounds of keys jingling as a goblin emerges from a... Um, so sort of like one of those bead doorways, but it's keys instead. She wears a coat lined with metal keys and carries a flail that has padlocks for heads. She manages a faint smile and says, How might Jingle Jangle unlock a bit of happiness in your lives today? I point Sir Tamagotchi at the goblin. Is this the lady you're talking about? I say yes, that is... Jingle Jangle, she gave me a good bit of fair sport and helped me get in earlier. Pleased to meet you again, madam. And she kind of bows politely at him. I believe uh, we're in need of a key to free our small new friend here. First, you know, you haven't really explained to us, how'd you even get in that little cage anyway? I was scouting and, uh, Bavlova Blightstraw, the terrible witch she is, caught me, threw me in here, and was going to cook me. I bribed up some good friends. I 
that lovely frogman that you saw that was a corpse. Oh yeah, we forgot to actually loot the bodies. Yeah, you forgot the whole purpose of you grabbing the whole balloon. Yeah, I just made things as difficult as possible for no you benefit. Did. I but it was impressive. Thank you. I convinced <laughs> them to help me out. We worked together to get the said balloon and upon hit and he couldn't get me out. We we planned on meeting up with young Jingle Jangle here once we safely landed. Yeah, all right. All right, that sounds legit. Anyone here have truth sense or anything like that? No? Anybody? No? Uh, I right. do. No. Oh. What do I have? I have snare, alarm, detect poison and disease. And Kenneth, I didn't quite hear what you said there. Did you say you That's get what you... no. That's a no? All right, well. I got no reason to distrust you. You're just some small fey creature locked in a magical cage. What reason do I have, you know, and to, not, to not just free you and release whatever curses you might have packed in there? All right. <clears throat> I'm friend to animals. Right. So, uh, Jingle Jangle kind of pats, pats her coat for a little bit, looks around, and then walks up to Bird, reaches behind where Bird would have an ear, and pulls out a silver key. <gasps> Betcha, you Bird is thoroughly confused and trying to figure out how she did it. <laughs> Delightful. Betcha, you should have it. Then those long-eared brigands, you notice, uh... I was about to say Gillespie. Gallagher did not join you into the cave. Someone want to go get Gallagher. I thought we secured the prisoner. Yeah. Like, he was Kenneth. tied up. Kenneth. Oh, he's tied Kenneth. up. But he is... <laughs> okay, Kenneth, did you tie up Gallagher? Kenneth is filing his rabbit nails. All right. God damn it, Kenneth. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Someone who's not Kenneth, go secure the prisoner. <laughs> that tracks. All right. Nighthoof wanders back out to see where Fucking Gallagher <laughs> went. <laughs> you see nothing but awakened trees kind of like playing patty cake with one another. Oh, trees. Did you see... A rabbit person walk by. They they, they point oh, like uh, about fifteen feet to the left of them, and you kind of see a uh, a crater with a red smudge in it. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Okay. And uh, Nighthoof <laughs> walks back into the cave. Well, uh, where's the prisoner? Uh, liquefied, apparently. Oh wow! Wow, you are a, a stickler for punishments, aren't you? Oh, I didn't. I didn't do a thing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but barely any effort at all. I see how it is. Yeah, all right, I got you, killer. Well, see here. I give you a friendly punch on the arm. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh, you got a key for us here, little man? Jingle Jangle's a lady, but Jingle Jangle does have the key, and she puts the key into the lock, unlocks it, and then quickly puts the key back in her pocket. I start to worry that this goblin may have pronouns. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. They, there you what go. What her hair? Oh, better now. It, it's blue now. <laughs> oh, wait, I, 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 I have jingle jingle art. Wait, I have jingle jingle art. Give me a second. Show she, us jingle jangle. She doesn't have... Where is the jingle jangle? She doesn't have hair, but, you know. Fuck. Oh, she doesn't even have hair. Yeah. But she oh, don't even have hair. Yeah, she's a cute little gobbo. Yeah, yeah, I don't... Uh, yeah, she doesn't look like an SJW, but you know, these liberals are insidious. Well, she's got the eyelashes. That's how you know she's a girl. It's a wall Pac-Man. Uh, no Unnecessarily bubble. gendered. <clears throat> she didn't have a pa Miss Pac-Man vibe going on. Yeah. Uh... So upon Sir Tavlar getting released, he goes, Ah, thank you, yes, I shall not forget this, and as a sign of my gratitude, a first payment, and he pulls out his sword from his sheath, sets it down. Is it like toothpick sized? It is a plus one tiny sword. Uh, I will how, drop... How shiny is it? <laughs> oh. Yeah, how shiny is it? It is, a well-worn, but well-taken-care-of. It's got a nice shine to it. 
Bird's main goal is to collect everything he can. Give me a second. I will drop. This is like a fun bird item. Yeah, I'll drop the tiny how many, sword. How many of these keys has Bird already picked up and shoved in his pockets? Uh, so, you want me to roll for that, JD? Yeah, roll a two d twenty for number of keys in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> How many keys have you swallowed today? <laughs> I don't jingle because of my armor. I jingle because of the keys I've eaten. Oh, God. 17. Oh, no. no. <laughs> yeah. You should probably be legally blind now, but you're good. You, you have keys. <laughs> Well, I'm not one to police my friends. Yeah. You also said iron, not lead. Oh, yeah. yeah. You got me there. <laughs> you got me there. Iron is not toxic to swallow. That's a fun fact, kids. Go swallow lead right now. Or go swallow iron right now. <laughs> yes, go swallow lead right now, kids. Lead and iron at the same time. Yeah. See what happens. Yeah, yeah. Kids, make it a big experiment. Swallow one lead and then one iron and then just go back and forth. Jiggle but remember, yourself. Make sure you mix it up good. <laughs> Remember, it's not science if you don't write it down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, this uh, this sword is a knife to anyone except for Bird. Bird gets accounted as a sword for the sake of if your stats care about what type of weapon you're using. And uh, the stats are... Bu -bu -bu. I just put them into the chat. They're plus 8 to hit, 1 target, and they do 1d4 plus 6 piercing. If nobody else wants it. Like, Bird is absolutely going after it. Have at it, Bird. Go for it. Bird at it. Go, Bird, go. Bird at it. Is this a special item, JD? Yeah. Or is it in D&D &D Beyond? Uh, I don't know if it's in D&D &D Beyond. Okay. It's just, it's labeled in my DM book as a plus one tiny sword. Does it require attunement? No, it's not magical. Okay. It's just tiny. It's not magical, it's just small. Yeah, it's a you little guy. Grant wishes. <laughs> Berries, not fairies. All right. <laughs> oh. That joke was for me. Yeah, I'll get it made up and figure it out. Okay. Where did, yeah, so... which chat did you put it in? Uh, character information? The Discord, okay. Yeah, the, I put it in the Discord, I do know that, because that's... It feels more permanent to me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but more. Why, why have we freed Sir Tevlar? He asked nicely. It seemed, like the thing to, it seemed like the thing to do, yeah. 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 Are we heroes? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We've yeah, always been we're heroes. heroes. What are you talking about? He's still oh. filing his nails. <laughs> there, yeah. There, there, were, there were bandits on the road that tried to rob us. And we, and we, we murdered them, them viciously. We we dispatched them in half, and uh, yeah, you then, sure did. Then, then we rescued a, l a little tiny dragon man, and so, yes. yeah, yeah, we're heroes now. <laughs> Delightful. <laughs> I want to turn it, to the congratulations. <laughs> Hashtag we did it, Reddit. Uh, <laughs> I want to turn to the. I want to. Oh God. <laughs> I turn to the possibly SJW uh, goblin. <laughs> so, uh, what's your deal here, little lady? Um, what, what's what's your whole operation here? What's your profit margins? What's going on? Profit margins? Yeah, I mean, like, no one does anything for free. It's like, what are you getting out of this? Uh, Jingle Jingle thought that key would be important, so, you know, the, the, the brigands attacked me, took, to attacked uh, Jingle Jangle, took Jingle Jangle's truffles, next they'll oh. be after Jingle Jangle's keys, and before you know it, Jingle Jangle's home. Not your truffles. And you, like, and, are we talking like chocolate truffles or pig mushroom truffles? And as you kind of get a better look at the light, she has a she clearly has a black eye and a couple bruises on her arm. Oh, you poor thing. Jingle Jangle prefers the chocolatey truffles, but 
Jingle Jangle does live in a swamp. Kind of smiles with a toothy grin. Seeing the abuse that Jingle Jangles has suffered, uh, Harvey senses the opportunity to go full vigilante mode. He's so excited. And, uh, but first he has to temper his expectations. You got a lot of keys to uh, a lot of different things here. Um, I'm hoping to unlock something myself. My butthole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got it open. I just got to unlock my enjoyment of it. Oh my god! Like, Please don't I, open your butthole. Like, I've got, I've got a, I've got a massively gauged plug up there right now, and I'm getting like zero enjoyment from it. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, but no. So, I'm looking to unlock something very important to me, and I was wondering if, maybe, if I can help you out, would you be able to help me out? Uh, Jingle Jangle would gladly help. Jingle Jangle was once afraid. So Jingle Jangle feels your plight. And she kind of puts her hand on your shoulder, solemnly. I... Sorry. Uh... uh... Feeling the hand on his shoulder, Harvey, like, for a moment, Harvey feels real, like, sentient humanoid warmth from another sentient humanoid being. But then is, but then is like, nope, 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 nope. Uh, it's, uh, I got, I got to keep my walls up. Got to, nope, it's, uh, it's not manly to let people in. So, <sighs> oh, feeling. nope, can't have feelings. And that feeling's only feeling is rage. Only feeling is rage. But uh, he just kind of finger guns at the little the little goblin and just says, "Ah, oh, don't you worry, a uh, 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 little jingle jangle. Uh, we'll we'll get your truffles back for you here. Um, just give us all the details of uh, of uh, the people who took them from you and a murder, and we will go." <laughs> Getting a lot of pent upness from you, Harvey. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. You get it. <laughs> J- Jingle Jangle thought you knew who did it. It looks like you've already taken care of them. Those the the terrible Harrigan brigand you brought that my that Jingle Jangle's friends pulped up was one of oh, them. Yeah. The centaur just liquefied that guy. I did not, but someone certainly did. Yeah, I get you. I get it. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't me. Somebody did. It wasn't me. (laughs) (laughs) Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. It completely goes over Nighthook's head. Yes, exactly. Uh, Listen, uh, their leader, Agden Starguff, he wears a bright blue scarf. He's very fast. He's... He lives in Brigand's Tollway. Uh, that would be the Agden long scarf we heard about. Oh yeah, the guy with the goofy little song. Yes. Bird starts to sing the song. Oh no. Oh yeah. Exactly like that. <laughs> Jingle Jangle's yeah. aware the brigand's tollway is a big stump. They live in a big stump. See, like a big flammable stump, huh? Could we see it from from your hill here? She kind of looks out, and there's kind of mists and points at a foggy, misty area. Eh? Oh, that way. Hmm. Yeah. All right. I'm down. Do it. Do we want to take care of anything before we mosey on on? I don't think we need a rest or anything. I think we're good to go in that regard. Mm-hmm. Have we taken any damage at all? <laughs> nope. No. <laughs> yeah, like, the the only thing is I'm, like, two out of three rages down, but I, I, one's all I need, I think. Yes. <laughs> you only need one. <laughs> hey, JD, I have one shitty map. What is a, a shitty map of? I don't know what you have a shitty map of. <laughs> well, I have a shitty map, so I, I take it out and I look at it. What am I looking at? Well, oh wait, that's the, uh, it's the carnival, I think. Oh. This doesn't help at all. 
and turn it over upside down. Oh, here, I, I will maybe, give maybe the... This nut. 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 Okay, nut. Nut. Thanks. Thanks for ah. the nut. Yeah, I'll take you guys to the full map of Prismere. Whoa. Look at that for a second. Whoa. Oh, wow. Kenneth's in the way. So I turn to Kenneth and be like, Kenneth, what were you doing when you were supposed to be securing the prisoner? What? <laughs> his nails. Whoa. His nails look fantastic. <laughs> I've been busy. Follow up question, and this yes. is out of character. Yes. Do you shape shift your nails to make them look the way you want them, or do you just shape shift normal nails and then you manually do the manicure? I feel like he manually does the manicure. There's something to like getting it done himself. He can never get it right if he transforms it. He has to like shape it. So every time you shape shift, you have to spend like an hour. Doing it all again. <laughs> yes. Yeah, pretty much. All right. You <laughs> know it's important to have hobbies. Do that. God. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, I suppose we we've, we've got a stump to find. Yeah. So we're gonna call it there. Looks like we're stumped for now. <laughs> Uh, 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 I'll see myself out. As as you say that, the some of the keys bird has eaten kind of flop fly out. Not <laughs> flop, <laughs> oh, excellent! What? <laughs> Falling out of his feathers. Well, I, I, yeah, he's also talking about his feathers. I, I do have a out of character complaint. I do have. To you specifically. <laughs> I bet you have a few. Yeah. Uh, so, Matt, I was super yeah. excited about, you know, getting to this session where combat was going to pop up. Mm -hmm. So much so, I was doing all sorts of research. I pulled out a book I got for Christmas that is supposed to kind of give you uh, strategies and a more realistic way characters move. Uh-huh. And apparently Harrigan, they uh -huh. do not appear on in the book. They're not uh -huh. in. They're not in the blog. They're yeah. not anywhere, as far as I can tell, attached to that company no. from that book you sent me. Oh. Yeah, I wasn't planning that at all. I just, I was just looking at the possible races. Like, I was just gonna play normal human, but that's boring. I want. Oh, Harrigan looks fun. And I didn't even think. Oh yeah, Harrigan's not even gonna be something JD can prepare for. No, no, it's my bad. I, I, I meant like as the enemies. I there's not like um, the monsters are alive. The monsters are watching. Whatever that book is. Yeah, y you got me. Like I, they don't have any Harrigan stuff because they're just from, they're just from Witchlight. Oh yeah, I wasn't. I was. I wasn't sure if like they where they were from. I knew they were relatively new. Uh, I don't know shit about them culture wise. I just knew. Oh, it'd be fun to play a rabbit barbarian. Yeah, yeah, no, it's good. It's great. Correct. It's very fun to go into a rage and then leap 50 feet across the <laughs> battlefield. True. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't know, but... <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so... I, yeah, I'm not sure how you didn't expect to go up to my most violent character I've ever created and say, I'm robbing you, and not expect to just start a fight. Well, I'm I was very thinking mystified by that. middle-aged bird. Oh, and bird, yes. And bird. And bird is very much like, oh, we're fighting now? Is that what we're doing? Okay, let's follow the plan. <laughs> I was Fair expecting thing. you, like, I knew bird is the wild card. Anything <laughs> could happen there, so I... I of all the characters, the Kenku is in. always the party wild card. Yeah, it's always the Charlie Day of the group. Wild card. Uh, wild card. No, I assumed if you were going to deal with aggressive, you, you were going to go middle aged right wing, and just kind of oh, I want to shake your hand. I want to shake your hand the whole time. I want to shake the man hand of the man who's robbing me, kind of thing. No, <laughs> no. He's he's every fucking white boomer. Who, who's fantasized about being robbed in just the right scenario 
so that they he can own pull... all guns. They yeah just for that moment. Yeah, they're all they go to bed at night thinking about that moment. It's like there's no way he's gonna try to fucking talk his way out of it. Here, goodbye stream. I want to say all the slurs, so I'm gonna turn off the stream now. Oh my god, goodbye. Starting with turf. Bye.